Oh, up, 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 up. Hey, Gino. What's up? What's happening? How's it going? Smell, you know someone playing the later game of this, it seems? Yeah, this uh, is a trilogy, actually. This series is a trilogy. The game I'm playing is the second game. Which is funny. Because I, I haven't played the first game, but I don't think the first game was available. On Vita or anything. I think the only way you can get the first game is buying the collection. The known regame collection. I could be wrong. So maybe I'll get that someday and play through the first game too. Well, this one I'm on playing is the second game. And there's a third game, yeah. There's three games in this series. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Very exciting stuff, I know. There's way more of that other series that you, you, you thought this one was ripping off of. Way more of this one! We're hiding out the title. The load game. If you hang out on the title screen, it tries to play an intro. And it's like, no. So we're hanging out in the load screen. <laughs> Thank it's dead. Uh, life's full of little coincidences like that, right? Uh, 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 uh. You should resume from this save. No, why would I do that? I better start the whole game over again, right? No! They select audio. Wait, you can change the audio language each time you load the game? That's interesting. It puts you exactly where you saved. What happens now? And then I was like, I go to sleep. That's what happens now. That's, that's, that's how last time went. I'm a little quiet for you guys. I'll turn it up. Unless it's supposed to be that quiet. We still got a while until the chromatic doors open. Mm, yeah, that's true. The next one's open. Probably for another hour. Yeah, looks like about 42 minutes. Oh, okay. That's uh, way closer than I thought it'd be. We should go and see if we can find any other exits. Maybe there's a vent or a disposal chute or something. Uh, I think your kidnappers would have thought of that. If there's a chance Zero missed something. Mm, Zero probably didn't miss anything. I concur. There's no point in standing around. We lose nothing by looking, and if we find nothing, we can always return and go through the chromatic doors. Let's split up. Five minutes will give us a good half hour or so. Let's meet in front of the chromatic doors five minutes before they open then. Any objections? There were none. No objections? What? Unheard of. After some nods and mumbling, they split up and moved off to investigate. I was the only person who stayed behind. Oh, well, you're going to investigate here? Damn. How the hell did I end up here? Why? Why me? Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Oh yeah, I forget this game. Da -da That's all the time. Try as I might, I couldn't think of anything I'd done that could have landed me in Zero's game. Did it ever occur to you that maybe he's just a psychopath who gets whoever he can and you might not have personally done anything? I bet that didn't occur to you, sir. Hi, Chloe. How are you? And pie. I know you already have food, so don't even bother trying to play the I need food game, because uh, I already know. That's sure good. I gave you food quite recently. Yeah, you're just spoiled, aren't you? Spoiled cat, I swear. 
You want to sit up here? I'm thinking about it. Okay. I hadn't pissed anyone off. At least not this bad. I didn't owe anybody money. And my family certainly wasn't rich. If anyone was hoping to get a fat ransom payout for me, they were going to be very disappointed. Obviously, I wasn't some kind of genius, nor was I an Olympic athlete. And I certainly hadn't been chosen by God to fulfill some great purpose on his earth. Well, at least if I was, I didn't know it yet. Had I started a fight with a frightening and mysterious new religion? No. Had I hacked into some terrorist group's server? No. Had I witnessed an assassination? No. Dude, m maybe the whole point was to just grab some random... ...who wasn't involved, you know? Had I gotten wasted and had a one-night stand with the mistress of a prominent politician? Oh, that's very specific. Well, yes. Wait, you did? What? I need to hear more about this main character. But it was just the one time. Ah, okay. Just the one time. And she was the one who went after me. So... Anyway, I was just an ordinary college student. If there was a reason I'd been abducted and put in a nonary game, I sure couldn't see it. Why was this happening to me? I thought back to what I'd been doing right before I was taken. The memories were still a little blurry, but they were there. Flashback time! December 25th, 2028. Early morning, California desert. What are you doing there? On Christmas, you're supposed to sleep in. I can't believe you're out in your car on Christmas morning. Yeah, but is there now a hole in her food is the real question. <laughs> there probably is. Her, her bowl probably got depleted by 5% and she wants it restocked. That's how cats are. As soon as the bowl has a little bit of food missing, boom, boom, boom. Feed me now, please. My bowl's empty. I'm gonna starve. Can this guy shut the fuck up? No, he has to know whether he did something to piss someone off. <laughs> this is six years in the future. Yeah! Write that down on your calendar. Six years from now, somebody's gonna be playing some twisted game. Okay, Frilly, you have to be a woman now. Wait, I wasn't before. Sure, all juicy details. Wait, what? No! I refuse. No juicy details. The moon was beautiful. I just finished writing a paper due that day. I was heading to my car from the research building. Oh, you mean be the, the woman, the woman, the mistress that he was just talking about? We got, we got six years for me to be that lady. No, I refuse. I refuse. I'll just be a pro instead. I can be anybody's mistress. Wait, there was a paper due that day? There was a paper due on Christmas? What the fuck kind of professor has a paper due on Christmas Day? What kind of sadist is this? We've also learned he's a big procrastinator. He, he, he just finished writing paper due that day. What, what the heck, man? What are you procrastinating for? 
What Twitch bug are you referring to? What happened? The parking lot was empty, and a bright moon cast sharp shadows across the chilly pavement. The last time I'd looked at the clock, it had said it was two in the morning, which meant that today was Christmas Day. What the fuck are you doing out two in the morning? Of? You were up that all night in like the library finishing your research paper? Your text chat box goes away for whatever reason. Huh, that is a weird bug. Fix your stuff, Twitch. No weird bugs, please. So why was I at school, typing away feverishly on Christmas? There were three reasons. First, my home computer had suddenly decided to eat shit. <laughs> Rip. When I hit the power button, I just got nothing. I didn't have the time to spend all night troubleshooting the stupid thing, so I headed back to campus to use one of the school machines. Understandable. Second, you should have still finished writing your paper long before the day it was due, but that's just my opinion. The professor in charge of my research group was a Buddhist, so... Christmas didn't appear to have any sort of significance to him, and part of me couldn't shake the thought that he was trying to make some kind of point. Ah, oh, that white paper do Christmas Day? He's like, fuck Christmas. Who cares? Third. My girlfriend had broken up with me a week before. Oh no! She's the, the mastermind. It's her. She wanted to kidnap. N nah, probably not. I'm sorry. I don't think we should see each other anymore. Goodbye. All I'd got was that one cold email. Try as I might, I couldn't even get in touch with her. Ouch. Breaking up over, like, text? Ouch. That's cold, alright. Of course, that meant I wouldn't be attending the party we'd been planning on going to. Duh, yeah. Somehow, I didn't think drinking by myself around a bunch of happy couples would really be a good idea. Nope. At any rate, I'd stayed up all night to finish my paper and emailed it off to my professor before the sun began to rise. As I walked across the parking lot, I felt... light. It's that sense of accomplishment. You're like, yeah, I did the paper, I did the thing, woo! Is that, is that feeling? Perhaps it was the relief of finishing my paper. Or perhaps it was the five energy drinks I chugged to stay awake. What the fuck? Are you okay, man? Perhaps it was both. Are you okay? If you had five in like one day, are you okay? I don't think that's healthy. I slid into my car and stuck the key into the ignition after only two tries. I twisted the key. Nothing happened. Huh? You only do one a week? You do one energy drink a week? This first time seeing his face? Nah, this uh, scene that we're flashbacking to was shown very briefly at the beginning of the game. We saw a couple scenes of it, then it moved on. Now we're getting an in-depth look at what happened. But now I saw him in the beginning. Te technically, that's me, right? Aren't I handsome? Yeah. <laughs> I jiggled the key in the slot and tried again. And again. And again. Must be very cold. On the fifth try, the engine made an odd creaking noise like metal on metal, and fell silent. Oh. God damn it! Well, he's not driving home on that. He's not driving home at all, though, because this was the part where he gets kidnapped, but still. They probably fucked with his car. I doubt it coincidentally broke down. They probably, like, did something to make it not work. You 
you stupid piece of shit. That's so mean. How do you, why would you talk to your car that way? It's worked so faithfully for you all these years, potentially, whatever, how long you had it. And this is how you talk to it when it finally starts having issues. I can't believe you. I screamed and pounded on the steering wheel, but nothing worked. Wow, man, acting like a toddler doesn't make the car work. Amazing. The console was about to get a visit from my fist when... Huh? What? What? What the hell is this? Why is my car smoking? It's clearly on fire, dude. Totally. I clawed at the door, and for a moment I thought that it was just my panic and lack of sleep that were keeping me from opening it. It wasn't long before I realized the truth. Shit! Open, goddammit! What was going on? My mind was racing, trying desperately to puzzle out what was happening through a haze of fear and caffeine-fueled neuron misfires. Ha 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 ha. It's the caffeine's fault. That was when I saw it. Just a glimpse in the rearview mirror, but I was certain there was someone behind my car. I spun around as fast as a very tired college student sitting in a car cam. Uh, who's there? Um, just a spooky looking dude in a mask. Well, maybe lady too. Well, who knows? Spooky person in a mask. My vision started to swim as the smoke filled the car. The more of it I inhaled, the heavier my body felt and I could already feel the world starting to go dark. Oh no! The last of my strength failed, and I collapsed sideways into the passenger seat. My eyes slowly drooped closed. Oh no! Hot Twitch streamer. Hi, Dolby! What's up? What's happening? How's it going? I hope you're doing well today. Hi, Chloe! Say, what's up? What's happening? How's it going, Chloe? Oh, you're just being a cute cat? Okay. Oh, yeah. I hope you're doing well today. Ready to watch me, uh, maybe solve some puzzles today? Probably just stare at things and be like, uh, what? When they opened again, I was in the A-B room with Phi. Why is this happening to me? I spent a few minutes wallowing in misery. I figured I deserved at least a little self-pity. But even I knew that brooding and whining wasn't going to get me anywhere. Like Kay had said, we needed to at least try and find another way out. So I shook my head to clear it, stood up straight, and headed off. Ooh. Ooh, I have a choice of where to pick. Lounge is where we chose to go the first time and did the puzzle. How about we try infirmary? I wanted to play something on the PlayStation, but the gray cat decided otherwise. She was like, Pay attention to me! Pat me, 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 pat me. How's it going? You guys find anything? Hello, Mr. Sigma. Nothing yet. Oh. Well, Alice Clover and I did go over this room quite thoroughly. 
She's driving you nuts. Uh oh. She is? Wait, what? Uh. Yeah. If she if she if she is in heat, then yeah, they obviously didn't do the job right. Ho oh, ho 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 ho. That might be something for them to call a vet and be like, hey, so about that procedure you did. Yeah. That might be a bit of an awkward conversation on the phone there. Perfectionate rolling around whining. It's like, where, where are all the male cats? Why aren't there any in here? <laughs> oh, shaking out with you since you're the only one that's awake right now. That makes sense. She's like, keep me company, human. Yeah, black cat's probably like, what the fuck's up with this? What the heck? My procedure went just fine. Interesting, though. Guess they did miss something. Or maybe she's a magic uh, regenerating cat and it grew back. I kind of doubt that one, but still. Not technically impossible, right? Right, right, right. Quick time to Google it, Google it, Google it. See what the internet has to say. The internet probably be like, they missed something. I doubt you'll find any hidden hallways here. Why are you back here then? Uh, well, I was concerned about the lady you found. Who would do such a horrible thing? Yep, she's still dead. Given what we know so far, you're the most likely candidate. Fie, please. Why would I kill this woman? Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying the evidence points to you right now. If we find more evidence in the future, that could change. Hmm. We were so busy earlier that I never got to ask, but... Do any of you know who she is? Beats me. I've never seen her before. I don't know her either. Neither do I. Well, I suppose I might have known her before I lost my memories, but there's no way to know, is there? You still can't remember anything? No. Not even a little, unfortunately. Hmm. It shows no sign one take because the bite passed and it's out of season. What? There's no such thing as out of season. It will pass though, if if that is what it is. But it takes like a week. What the? the? Oh. It'll come back three weeks later. I don't think it'll come back that soon. Although I suppose every cat's different. Quick, throw her in, throw her in uh, a, a certain other room. <laughs> and be like, well, if you don't want to take her, you can have her in your room. <laughs> it be dastardly. Oh, pet. Okay. Good kitty. Oh. You better be telling the truth about this amnesia stuff. Are you suspicious of me too, Sigma? Me personally, no. But I I'm playing a guy who I guess is. Suspicious? 
Have you looked in a mirror lately? You might as well have suspicious tattooed across your forehead. If someone ran into you on the street at night, they'd probably pass out from fright. Or maybe even during the day. Oh. Honestly, I would just think it was a dude in a robot suit. Because I wouldn't expect to see actual, like, robots that look like this yet. That technology's coming. Probably already here in, like, the military or some shit. Who knows? But if that happened today and I saw Kay here walking along, I just think it's some dude that's coming home from, like, a cosplay convention or some shit. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I apologize for my frightening appearance. Well, it's not really something you need to apologize for. I mean, it's not your fault, right? No, I suppose not. Well, I assume not. But... But what? I'm not sure why, but none of this feels particularly strange. The mask and the suit, I mean. In a way, it almost feels natural. I don't feel as though I was forced into it. Are you saying this is how you always look? No, I don't think that's it. This might be a pretty obvious question, but is there any way for you to take it off? No. I've tried several times, to no avail. I honestly don't even know where to start. Ah, but there is something I'd like to ask of you. There are parts of the suit I can't see. Could you have a look and tell me if perhaps there is a switch or something similar? Take off your clothes, robot. You know, Black Cat sounds like she's awake now chasing her. You're sick! She's got your back, man. She's got your back. With no further warning, he removed his robe and turned his back to us. Whoa, man! Whoa! Can't do that. Just do that. You can't just take off your clothes and turn around. You can't just do that. Even if you're a robot. I'm doing well. I'm doing just fine. I would like it to be a little less cold outside, though. I don't like this wintertime stuff, even though it's not technically winter yet. I would like to just uh, time travel to, like, I don't know, April. I'd like to skip this whole winter thing. It's the time of year that always feels the slowest to me. It's always like, oh, they're cold. Blah, 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 blah. And then, then, and then it gets warm, and you got springtime, summertime. It's like, oh! But that feels like it goes by way too fast, and it's back to cold again. You're like, nah. I'm just arriving one day at a time, waiting for the warm to return. It's very exciting. Cool. That's right. It's cool outside. How did you know? Half a wink. Eight nights always feel quickish to you. Understandable. That's kind of how it works for everybody in general, though. Before you know it, uh, it'll be like, wait, what do you mean? It's been like a month. What do you mean? Another year's gone by. How's this happen? I don't feel like I've been around for as long as I have. I'm an old lady, remember? I'm gonna think about it and then be like, what? What? It's been that long? It doesn't feel like it's been that long. Feels like it's been like a month's stop, and all of a sudden, you're all dry. That's how it goes. I feel from next week the nights are gonna feel slow. That's true. I won't be around next week, although that might ha not have anything to do with the slowness you're talking about. But, uh, I'll still be streaming Monday and Tuesday next week. But I'll be on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I'm pretty sure, too. 
for Thanksgiving's holidays. Very exciting stuff. All, all, all the viewers will have to watch VODs or something. Or heaven forbid, watch somebody who's not a pro. I'm terrible. I'll just assume it's because of you. I said, I'm not going to assume that. I said something like that. I started talking about it, but I didn't want you to think I, I was saying that because of what you said. Specifically why I put in the disclaimer. Prophetize! You're so silly sometimes. <laughs> this is Twitter. Is your video game good? Does it have a fishing minigame? Yes or no? And shit if it doesn't. Oh no. Oh no. This means Elden Ring is terrible because it doesn't have fishing. Actually, how, when was the last game I played that had fishing? Yakuza 0 has fishing. I don't think any other game I've played recently has fishing though. That means I've played nothing but garbage. Except for one game. What was your first thoughts? I was curious to why. Because you mentioned next week, so it made me think of what's happening next week. Da da da! Drum rock! Woo! Amazing thought process, I know. I, I don't know if I want to press this button and see his back. This might be scandalous. Twitch might ban me. Twitch is not going to ban me because it's just going to be like a robot back or some shit. It took no time at all to find something of interest. Not the back of his head. There's a hole here on the back of your head. A hole? It's a power button, right? Kinda. It's a power button. What the heck are you doing, cat? She's just doing that thing cats do when they just run around and go You okay? You just zooming? Hail swish. Yeah, looks like you insert something. I mean, to me, it just looks like a power button. Try pushing it. You might turn the man off. You might be all... <coughs> be like, shit, I didn't mean to turn him off! Press the power button again! I don't get the open thing though. Maybe it'd be some kind of weird key and then you turn it to open it. You might take the man's brain out. It pretty much confirms she's a robot to me. It says open, so maybe if you put some kind of key in there. You could open up the suit and take the mask off. I see. That's excellent news. We just need to find whatever it is that goes in there, then. So, seriously, though, if you were a regular dude in a suit like this, how do you not starve to this? You, you, you would still need to eat. So this not taking the mask off thing means you're going to starve. Unless you're telling me the suit he's been shoved into just feeds some nutrients somehow. He'll inject some vitamins in the... Ooh, uh, 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 uh. Keep you alive. Yeah. I still think it's a robot, though. Thank you. I feel somewhat relieved. I was beginning to fear I might have to spend the rest of my life like this. Wait. A minute ago, you said that it felt natural. Well, it does. But that doesn't mean I want to stay in it forever. Imagine having glasses, for instance. Wearing them doesn't feel strange, but you'd hardly want to wear them all the time, forever, would you? That's what wearing the suit is like. Well, I think that's enough about me. Should we move to the next room now? Yeah! No. There still might be something here. I'm staying. 
Me too. I see. Well then, I will move ahead and see how our companions are doing. What do you intend to do? Hmm. I think I'll be moving along too. Where do you plan to go? I guess we'll check crew quarters or land. Ah, I'm conflicted. What's this Twitter? Hmm. Hmm. The running animation for uh, Wesker does look kind of silly in Dead by Daylight. It always looks like he's running around like, Get back here right now, young man! Or young lady. Get back here right now! I want to talk to you. Hmm. I might get the opportunity to do all three. Let's try crew quarters. I was thinking I might go over to the crew quarters. Very well. I shall head for the lounge then. Oh, it's one or the other. Until we meet again. And then they swap places. Okay. I don't get to do all three, probably. Excuse me. Kay's robe flowed silently around him as he turned to leave. I made my way out of the infirmary behind him. Dot 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 When's the nineteenth? Uh four days from now. Let's see, days two days. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sat that'd be Saturday, wouldn't it? Huh? So the oh wait, so huh. So these are the crew quarters, huh? Huh, 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 huh. No. Sigma. What are you doing here? Hey, come on, man. Don't be like that. We aren't enemies, are we? Huh. I wonder. What happened to you, Tenmyoji? You've been acting weird ever since we found that lady's body. Oh, you think so? What, you sure it ain't just all in your head? Hmm. Fine. Let's move on to something else, then. You and Cork. Is he your, uh, grandkid? Why do you want to know? Why? Well, I mean, why do you think? He keeps calling you Grandpa. Of course I'm gonna wonder what the deal is. We all got kidnapped and brought here. Apparently for no reason. Now they're making us all play some sort of weird game. I'm just trying to find a little meaning in all this nonsense. That's it. So tell me, Tenmyoji. Are you really Quark's grandpa? Clover. Luna. Sigma, where'd you come from? Did you not want me here? No, it's okay, I guess. I just thought Tenmyoji was the only other person here. This is the crew quarters. I came here with Clover and Tenmyoji. We decided we'd split up to investigate. Huh. Makes sense. So, you find anything? Zero. What? Which one? No, I meant I found zero things. Ha 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 ha, gotta be more specific, you know. Saturday, how perfect is it? Saturday, your favorite day. It's an awesome day. 
That is a pretty nice day. What about you? Anything suspicious? I didn't find anything either. Although, I guess you could say this whole facility is suspicious. Yeah, you've got a point there. So, why do you think Zero put all these puzzles and stuff all over the place? Hmm. Well, maybe solving all of these puzzles is part of the Nonary game. Really? I thought the Nonary game was a couple rounds of the AB game. Why would he need the puzzles and stuff then? Well, what is the Nonary game then? Why is Zero making us do all this? Um... Well, this is just, um, speculation, but... Maybe it's for entertainment. So rich, powerful people can watch. I suppose that's possible. Entertainment? Yes. They're probably off in an opulent theater, watching us struggle while they drink brandy and eat caviar. <laughs> That sounds a little extravagant. It's not possible, I guess, but kind of extravagant. Oh, like something you see out of a movie or something. Saturday's Lodos, that's ideal for you, and it'll be the finale, so... You really think I'll finish Lodos on Saturday? Look at this optimist here. I don't have that much confidence in boss rush mode. I have to get whatever S rank means on it, man. I'm doomed. I'm doomed. I'm doomed. I'm doomed. Yeah, I'll probably be fine. Oh, you think so, huh? So some rich bastards killed her off for kicks. What kind of a death is that? Well, maybe her dying didn't have anything to do with the rest of the game. No. Kay was right. If her dying wasn't part of all this, the rabbit would have said something. But what'd we get? Nothing. Just tells us to keep playing and disappears. I can only think of one reason he'd do that. Murdering her was always part of Zero's plans. Now, if you can think of another way all this fits, well, I'd love to hear it. So you're saying that Zero Senior is the one who murdered the old lady? Now, it sure looks that way. That means there's a 7 in 1 chance anybody could be the murderer. Wait. 7? Well, Alice and I can't be 0. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely not me. Don't be suspicious of me, because it's definitely not me. You better fish on Saturday, you better be counting on it. What? No pressure, huh? Cut, cut the red wire, cut the blue wire. Hurry, 10 seconds till the bomb explodes. <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. That's the correct wire, though. Lots of pressure, sorry. Nah! Nah, 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 nah. Have you seen the bit latest list of games getting removed from Game Pass? This Lodos isn't in it. It's okay. It's okay. Boss rush isn't that difficult. You're already well practiced in one prerequisite of throwing stones. Ha ha ha! That's the best spell, honestly. Although the uh, wind and fire ones aren't too bad either. They're kind of expensive. I'll let the I part go, but... You're gonna have to give me a little to convince me Alice can't be zero. Need hug now? Proful hug! Harder finding the final secret room. If I don't look it up, yes, because it's probably gonna be on a random corner somewhere. Along the border somewhere. Ah! 
I guess it depends on how much time I want to uh, spend on trying to find it. Hmm. Hold on, I think about it. What should be the final achievement? Hmm. For our moment. Hmm. I'll think about it. Which gives me an Adobe Max moment. What are you talking about? Spam till Max? You can only have five moments per month. You're limited. You can only ha give out a max of five per month. So I'm afraid I can't spam moments until your max. I'm pretty sure the devs wouldn't want that either. Twitch devs be like, no, no spam. Pretty sure that's why it's limited. What would be the benefit of having the fancy moment badge that said you've watched a bajillion of them if, if you got it by watching somebody spam them? They're supposed to be special, don't you know? I should not find it getting in. I'd never have thought of it. Oh, you'd never have thought of it? Oh boy, I don't, I don't, that, doesn't, that doesn't give me a lot of confidence. Also, I gotta finish uh, over. Not over. Not Overwatch. Onrush. I gotta finish Onrush. Oh, hey, kitty. Thanks for the raid. Hello, people. What's up? What's happening? How's it going, everybody? You don't know what's leaving Game Pass? Uh, you don't... Have, that's true. You don't have a reason to look now. But there's an article on uh, True Achievements about it. Uh, a bunch of games I've never heard of. A few of them are short ones, though, but still. I, I, I'll be busy with Thanksgiving holidays, so... Those are cute kitty cat emotes. Cute kitty 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 kitty. Your moment should be either S rank on rush or S rank archery. Think so? I think by on rush you mean boss rush. What? Come on. Oh yeah, you do. You posted that right after. That's funny though. I like that typo. And I know each other. Yeah, but I don't know you two. I'm just supposed to believe you. Well, um, how do you know each other? Uh, I guess you could say we're co workers. Why, why, why is there a question mark after that? I don't believe her. And where do you co work? An organization? Wow, she's awfully shy about where she works. She, she's embarrassed about it. She don't want to talk about it. I'm suspicious of her now. You're exhausted, Satch Face. No! You go get some sleep, okay? You go feel better. It's your rest. Take care of yourself. Gotta eat properly, sleep properly. Gotta do all that stuff. All this stuff. You don't want to be reach max element ranks with your spirits, do you? Hmm, probably not. I have a feeling S rank archery is gonna be a bitch for me. I'm doomed. That's kind of vague. What kind of organization? Um, that's. Hey, why aren't you telling me where you work? She's embarrassed because she works at Hooters. That's right. I'm calling it now, right? She's just embarrassed about it. Everyone's like, dot, dot, dot. Nobody believes you. I can't tell you. Why not? Not like you work for the CIA, probably. <laughs> what? What do you mean you can't tell us? I mean, I can't tell you. Just forget about it, okay? Why can't you tell us? Because it's confidential. I promised I wouldn't tell. Oh, come on. Don't give me that. Look around you, Clover. You really think this is the time for playing it close to the chest? Yeah. What if the people you work for have something to do with what's going on here? 
Yeah. You're right. Maybe I should tell you. Finally. Sorry, but I just don't really trust you guys. I mean, what if one of you is Zero? It could be any of you. Sorry. Hmm. Anyway, I think that's enough about me and Alice. I just don't really feel like I can trust you guys. Maybe if that changes, then I can tell you. So, I guess I'll go now. Go? Where are you going? I don't know. I haven't really figured it out yet. Then I'll be going too. Fine. Okay. There she goes. There she goes. There she goes again. Remember Subnautica's leaving now because of this guy's comment? First comment of the article. Ooh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, it's leaving today. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, really? Actually, I remember hearing about that. You could unlock all of Subnautica's achievements with the console commands. Just like uh, Conan Exiles. I guess they patched it. How terrible. How terrible that you have to play the game now. So sad. That'd be fair if you if they patched it out for Conan Exiles, I probably never would have started the game at all. No big loss though. It's one of the fact he's winning, you actually have to play the game now. Yeah, like if they did the same thing for Conan, I'd have been like, oh, if 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 they'd patched it like a week before I did it, you know? I'd have been like, oh well, I just won't play it. I wouldn't have been like, Wah! what was me? Pain! I've just been like, shrugged my shoulder and be like, oh well. Next game. It's not like I don't have plenty more games to look at. The list of games never ends. There will always be more. Dancing Gino. I'm doing a little bird dance. Oh yeah. It's more of the fact she's one. You have to actually play the game. I mean, if we were serious, I can understand. Oh, so there's an exception there, huh? Ha 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 ha. Isn't that a new update coming out pretty soon? <laughs> it's coming out like a day or two before I disappear off for Thanksgiving. I think. 22nd? Yeah! <laughs> so, ten Miyoji. Save it. I don't trust you any more than she does. In other words, you aren't going to tell me anything, are you? Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I left Ten Miyoji and headed back to the hallway. There were so many questions I wanted answers to, but it was looking like I'd have to suffer in ignorance for a while longer. Besides, there were plenty of more immediate problems that needed my attention. I sighed and filed my questions away to be dealt with later. I needed to focus. There was only one room I hadn't visited yet. Yep. Lounge! I actually do get to do all three. I fucked up their website yet again today when updating their website, revealing the placeholders to their two new factions. Oops! Oopsie! Oopsie daisy! Our bad guys, you saw nothing, okay? You saw nothing! Oh, Sigma. Perfect timing. You were here earlier, right? Yeah, I was. Fi, Luna and I were the first into this room. Did you find anything suspicious? Like a uh, secret pathway or something. You really think that's the kind of detail I would have neglected to mention? 
Anything else then? Anything out of the ordinary? Out of the ordinary? Uh, Q, we have to reach max rank in both. Wouldn't surprise me. I honestly don't think they'll have a super uh, uh, tough achievement. I think I think there's ample opportunity for grindy ones like the Veils, but actually difficult to do, I don't think so. But I might be surprised next week and be like, they'll, they'll expect you to be number one on the leaderboard and they'll be like, <coughs> not happening. Sorry, I have a life. Can't be number one on the leaderboard, guys. It wouldn't be that stupid, though. But the top 25% leaderboard one is a possibility, I guess. That would suck. I hate leaderboard achievements or trophies. Almost as much as I hate online ones. Almost. <laughs> Not quite. Hmm. Well, I mean, everything about this room is out of the ordinary. How about the door you're staring at right there, dude? How about this? Isn't that obvious? It's an astronomy magazine. Apparently, it's got an article about a lunar eclipse. It says it's going to happen on December 31st, 2028. This New Year's Eve, then? Yeah. Six days from now. Wait, what did you say? What do you mean, six days? Uh, well, today's Christmas, right? So... Wait a minute. When were you grabbed? Didn't you hear me? On Christmas. About two or three in the morning. Wait, did they pick you up on a different day? Y yeah. I was abducted in the middle of the night on December 22nd. Huh. What about you? I... Uh, I think it was the 20th. Then we were all taken on different days. Does that mean we were just sleeping until the nunnery game started? Maybe they kept us on a soparil IV drip or something? In theory, you could have everyone wake up at the same time if you got the dosage right. Then today might not even be the 25th. I think that's likely. Yeah. Some of us were probably abducted after you. Oh. Well, I guess that explains why I feel kind of dizzy. You too? I felt disoriented since I woke up. My body doesn't feel right. Maybe it's because we were asleep for so long. Your muscles start to atrophy if you don't use them. Uh... Then... What day is today? Who the fuck knows? Not like they have a watch that'll tell you. Beats me. I have no idea. It might already be 2029 for all you guys know. Nothing says faction war like making you play both sides. I know, right? They don't know. We only know one achievement. <laughs> yeah, and that depends on the... That was for getting uh, point, some point amount, right? Some amount of faction points or something. Or something, something. I don't know. We'll see when they come out and cry. Then, okay. I'll go. I'll go cry in a corner. <laughs> and then not play the game. At least probably won't touch it till December. So I'll be busy. Plenty of time to look at it, see how things are going. Yeah! Perfect, you have next week off. Yeah! That's right, so I can play it. No, wait, so I don't play it. So I don't play it, because I'm not taking my computer with me. 
<laughs> this player do their thing, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Plus chance. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, 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 sure. Get people to work it out of their systems. <laughs> do you too. No? What about you guys? Was there anything interesting in the crew quarters or the infirmary? Nah, nothing in the quarters. Oh, well, there was a book about a cat. Meow. A cat? Yeah. Something about a cat in a box and whether it's dead or alive. Huh? Trudner's cat. Didn't make any sense to me, though. Well, if you haven't opened the box, you haven't confirmed the status of whether the cat is dead or alive. Saying you don't know until you open the box to find out. That's the whole point of it. You guess you'll be playing? Oh, man. If it's, like, super buggy or whatever, don't, 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 the, don't push yourself too hard. Don't push yourself too hard. Take it easy. If you get double gunned to death, just take a deep breath and be like, Whew. Whew. Just take it easy. Bob Plum. What? What are you Bob Plum for? Hmm. Well, it doesn't really sound like something that's going to help us get out of here. Yeah, I didn't think so either. How about the infirmary? Find anything interesting? Well, actually there was one thing. What? I wasn't trying to hide it. The right moment to mention it just never came up. You don't need to apologize. Just tell us what you found. Well, see for yourself. A blurry paper. Amazing. It's a newspaper article, looks like. Yeah, it was in the safe in the infirmary. Let me see that. Radical 6 infection spreads. Cure continues to elude authorities. What the hell? What's Radical 6? Just read the article. I swallowed and began to read. Have a cunning plan that'll probably work like all your plans. Hey, I mean, I, I mean, like maybe one or two of them have worked. It's not a hundred percent failure rate. Just like ninety-eight percent. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. The radical six virus continues to spread across the globe like wildfire. The WHO has confirmed that the death toll is estimated to have passed 100,000 victims. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. Do... Do you think we're in a quarantine facility? Yes, we're definitely in a quarantine facility. Definitely. You mean you think we got infected with this Radical Six thing? Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Well, we don't know anything for sure. But look at us. We seem pretty healthy. Yeah, you're very healthy, Alice. I was looking at your eyes, by the way. Admittedly, I don't know what the symptoms of Radical Six are. But if it's killing people worldwide, they must be horrific. Now, just look at this soft, lustrous skin. <laughs> this soft, lustrous skin. That's right. <laughs> they never work. Hey, I think they've worked once or twice. At some point. This perfect, shapely face. Does this beauty look like something infected with an awful disease? No comment, lady. You want to touch it, don't you, boy? <laughs> Why is she coming on to me now? I can see it in your eyes. Go on. Try. 
No, no, no. It's probably better if I don't try. I could be like, wah, 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 wah. No, no, no. Well, I am feeling a little weird. I'm just feeling a little weird, huh? That could just be from sleeping for a couple of days. Or maybe it's a side effect of that drug. Besides, if this is where they ship people to quarantine them, don't you think there aren't enough, uh, people? This thing is killing people all over the world, right? Yeah, there's a remarkable lack of nurses anywhere. So why would there only be nine of us here? Yeah, I guess you do have a point. And if there was this big disease, don't you think you would have heard about it before you got kidnapped? Diseases don't, don't just suddenly appear from nowhere and kill 100,000 people. Like, three days after you get kidnapped, you know. How do we even know that newspaper article's real and not photoshopped? I don't believe nothing. Think about it. Zero is forcing us to play this nonary game. Why would the government quarantine people and then make them play a game? Also a good point. Yes, it is. So you're saying there's no connection between our abductions and this virus? Probably not. Hmm... Well, it's still something we should remember, I suppose. I mean, even if we're safe in here, our friends and families are still out there. That's true. I hope they're all right. Wait a minute. When did this virus actually show up? That's what I was saying. It doesn't just show up and just go... Bow, bow, bow. You'd have heard about it. I've never heard of it before. Neither have I. Me either. So what day is it? If this Radical Six killed hundreds of thousands of people while we were asleep. Just how long have we been here for? I don't think you'll be able to just puzzle that out. If we want the truth, we need to find more information. Yeah, well, doesn't look like we're gonna have time for that. Shit, we're late. Uh, yeah. All right, then. We should hurry. We're not even gonna discuss, like, the panel on the wall that looks like a door that's been bolted. Or whatever. We're not even gonna discuss that? That looks suspicious to me. We're not gonna talk about it. Actually, does this mean Saturday is your last Game Pass day? Uh, for now, yes. It depends on if they'll let me do that one dollar thing or not. Because I do plan on uh, getting more gold and renewing my gold and continuing to have gold. So if I get to do that cheap conversion thing, then, then I'll do it. If they want me to pay like fourteen ninety nine a month, then no. <laughs> It depends. And I don't get to find that out until after it expires. Get it, gold code, and try it out. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. See that, but it better not. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Just spare your sanity, though. We don't do Game Pass games. Think of your backlog. Don't be like me. Chromatic doors have opened. 
Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. You're late. So? We're not even on the same team anymore. Why do you care? What the hell are you doing? So, sorry. That's not good enough. You realize we could die here, right? Hey, whoa. Calm down there, girl. I made it in time. Barely. We've only got five minutes left. You're a yellow pair. Who do you think your partner is? Gee. I wonder. I forgot the color uh, thing. They, they explained the whole colors go with whatever, but I, I, that was a week ago, so I don't remember anymore. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, you son of a... Come now, Fi. Please, calm down. Fighting now helps no one. He's right, you know. The doors have already opened. We need to hurry up and figure out our teams. <sighs> what did I do to deserve this asshole? So, how should we pair up? We're almost out of time. I'll just explain it as fast as I can. Just like before, there are only three possible combinations. Oh, I'm getting the combination explanation. The options Phi laid out for us were the following. Uh. Hmm. Okay. No, I guess the first one is great because I walked to that. Wait, what? Ah, okay, okay, okay. I mean, if if you get your cat spayed and then uh, she is acting like she wasn't spayed, uh, you know, I'd be a little bit ticked off too. I'd be like, what did I spend my money on, you know? I'd be like, uh, yeah, you guys need to fix your shit and check that out, you know? The other cat's fine though, right? So they probably just, I don't know, missed something. I, I don't know exactly how the procedure works. I think it var varies. I think sometimes they remove everything and sometimes they don't, but I'm not sure. I shouldn't have to pay again, but apparently they'll have to. Yeah, that's not something that occurs very often. I, I, that's never happened to me. I've never had a cat that got spayed or neutered and then, well, spayed especially, you would notice. You wouldn't really notice for a male cat because they're not the ones who walk around going wah, 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 wah. so you wouldn't really notice necessarily i suppose you'd only find out if all of a sudden they had kittens and you'll be like wait what but what are the chances you're finding that out not too likely especially if you let your cat walk around outside i don't know but yeah that's the that, mm. chance of that happening it's got to be small I doubt- I doubt it never happens, though. So yeah, she, they either missed something or she's got something else going on. Hmm. No, 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 no. The, the, the gray cat's, uh, just, uh, she's just extra excited right now, okay? Okay? She's not sticking her derriere up, is she? That's, that's pretty much the telltale sign right there. If she's like howling around and sticking her derriere up. Being like, take me now! Let's do it! Let's do it! If she's doing that, then uh, yeah, I missed something. I bet it happens though. I'm sure it happens. Probably not that often. Apparently even a small piece mist is enough to create the estrogen. Oh, okay. Yeah. I could see that. I'd have to go back in there and remo remove anything. YouTube watchers are gonna have something to listen to, I guess. They are. That's right. Wait, what YouTube watchers? What are you talking about? 
Ralph Bot, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You know there aren't any of those. Can't believe you. Option A. Alice and I, Cyan, would pair up with Luna, Yellow, and go through the green door. Ten Miyoji and Quark, Magenta, would pair up with Clover, Cyan, and open the blue door. Phi and Dio, Yellow, would pair up with K, Magenta, and open the red door. Option B. Alice and I, Cyan, would pair up with K, Magenta, and go through the blue door. And Miyoji and Quark, Magenta, would pair up with Luna, Yellow, and open the red door. I'm definitely going to remember all these options. Phi and Dio, Yellow, would pair up with Clover, Cyan, and open the green door. Option C. Alice and I, Cyan, and Clover, Cyan, would pair up and go through the red door. Tenmyoji and Quark, Magenta, would pair up with K, Magenta, and open the green door. I highly doubt that Tenmyoji wants to go with either Quark or Dio right now. Since they voted to fuck him over. Phi and Dio, Yellow, would pair up with Luna, Yellow, and open the blue door. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. All right. So what are we doing? I'm not pairing up with K. He's not. What you got against K? K's not the one that voted to fuck you over, man. What are you, what are you mad at him about? Oh, he probably thinks he's the killer, so he doesn't want to be alone with him. Your cat's doing that with her derriere now. Black cat does it too, apparently that's because she enjoys the scratches. Well, yeah, but when you're scratching them, doesn't count, okay? Every cat likes to be scratched right before the tail. That's the magic cat spot, don't you, though? <laughs> I'm talking about when you're not petting them. Silly, silly. Sounds like a happy cat, all right. Why not? Because he thinks you're the killer, probably. We'd end up playing against each other in the next AP game. Oh, is that why? Oh, that's true. I forgot that. Whoever you pair up with is whoever you're voting for or against in the next game. Happy cat? Yeah, she's a very happy cat. Actually, probably not. She's probably frustrated being like, where? Where? Why am I like this? I thought they removed them. Why am I like this? <laughs> Last time, you betrayed Clover. Oof. How am I supposed to know you won't do the same to me? Oof. <laughs> you can't be trusted. That's a, that's a problem right now. Nobody trusts each other. Nobody's willing to trust each other. Which makes it really hard. For you guys to all escape with your lives if you don't work together. How unfortunate. To be honest, however, I would rather not go with you either. <laughs> yeah? Why's that? Ooh, you probably shouldn't have asked that. Well, you only have one BP left. I very much doubt you'll choose to ally in the next round. Even if you promised me you would choose to ally, I'd be in an undesirable situation. You see, I wouldn't be able to choose to betray. If I did, and you were true to your word and allied, then I would kill you. So there you are. That is why I do not wish to be paired with Tenmyoji. Of course, for the same reason, I would rather not be paired with Alice. True, true. Frustrated too? I'll bet. You'll survive! Survive, Dolby! Survive! 
That's not a problem. Sigma and I will be taking Clover. I trust her more than any of the rest of you. And before she betrays you. Yep. I want to go with Alice, too. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Don't I get a say in this? I would like to go with Sigma or Phi. They chose Ally last time. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I'm Phi's partner. You should pair up with us. Sound good? No. I am also opposed to that choice. If Alice and Clover pair up, and Luna and Dio pair up, the rest of us don't have a choice. Hmm. True, true. We'll be stuck with Phi's option C. I believe I mentioned before that I do not wish to be paired with Tenmyoji. And I don't want to go with K either. Then what the hell are we supposed to do? And if I want to betray? Yeah, she did! But I chose ally. At the end of the thing, it gave me a choice to ally or betray, and I chose ally. If I was not happy about it, though, no. She was mad! One minute remains until chromatic doors close. What's wrong, Quark? Uh-uh. What's going on with him? It's all over. This is it. We're all going to die. Are you all right? No. No. That's not it. Don't you get it? We are gonna die. We have to die. Are you okay, Quark? You finished Onrush, by the way? Whoa! Nope, you didn't tell me that. We have to die here! <laughs> but I don't want to die here. All of us! What, what the hell? Oh, snap out of it, kid. Oh, come on, Quark, talk to me. No, I'm fine. You're the crazy ones! Getting so serious about the stupid game hmm we should just stop end this end all of it i mean if you refuse to play the game they'll just kill all of you uh, are you okay with that end everything We need to get him to the infirmary. Don't have time for that? The doors are gonna close in like 30 seconds? No. We don't have time. 30 seconds remain Call until it. chromatic doors close. Called it. I knew, I knew what they were gonna say. I knew it was gonna be 30 seconds. What if you just reach whatever level your alt did? If you don't have your 250 items at that point, start buying small items like tombstones. All cheap stuff? Yeah, 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 that makes sense. We don't have a choice. Quark's with me. I'll carry him through. But we still haven't figured out who's going where. I can't afford to be picky anymore. Someone just choose. I don't care who. Sigma... Why do I always have to choose? You have to choose. M what? Why me? Please just do it. We don't have any time left. Nine, eight, seven. Why do these guys always got to play like they're trying to defuse a bomb? They got to do everything in like the last few seconds. 
Why can't these people just be, you know, proactive and just figure this out before it's like six seconds to go? Parfilia! Gina! What's up? That's 247. <clears throat> dupkit, dupkit, dupkit. Yep, yep, yep. But they gave you money. Don't you feel great about that? I play Castle Crashers again. Uh, the online for that sucked, so not really. If, unless, like, a remastered version doesn't have the stupid online achievements. Because I had to boost those, and it took, like, two goddamn hours, and it was so boring. It's a remaster. Does that not have a re arena or whatever that was called? I had to do three more races to get a new crate. Rip. I swallowed. I... Alice and I will... Uh, uh, I don't remember what, what does what. Last time, though, I picked the first option, so... If I just pick the first option every time... And then in another place where I could pick the second option every time or whatever. But there pr might be different routes if you do like the first one, and then like the third one, and you know. Oh, whoa, what was that? I didn't even know it did that. If you press up again right here, it goes and does this. What happens if you press down? Okay. It's a new mini game. Oh, okay. I had no idea. Castle Crashers was a cute game though. I wouldn't necessarily be opposed to playing it again at some point. The only part that I didn't enjoy was doing the multiplayer achievement boosting. That was ugh. And I wasn't even playing it normally, you know? Like, if you did normal games. I boosted it so I'd get it done faster, but it was still exceedingly boring. If they make you boost stuff, well, you don't have, they don't make you do it. If they make make online trophies that you have to boost, it's always it's always preferable that it be interesting, you know. I don't I don't remember what we did, just whack each other or something. I think we took turns killing each other or something. Win X times or something. I forget. I don't I don't remember what the multiplayer was. I just remember that it was really boring. Really boring. I would never play a version of it that has this multiplayer achievements again. Never, never. Multi-game screenshot on Discord. Let's go, look! Whoa! That looks interesting. I'd probably slip off the ice and die. The only plus side is that rounded your final time to a nice 14 hours exactly. Ooh, that's cool. You did the game way faster than me, as expected, since you already played through it before on a, your main account. I've done three streams of it. And I'm, uh, I finished the first event in Superstars, and so I only have everything else in Superstars. And then anything else I have to do, which I don't really know about because I haven't really looked it up. 250 items, obviously. First tried that one lockdown event I struggled with years back. And it took me six attempts to do the following lockdown, which I told you about. Yeah, you did. Uh, I got exceedingly lucky on that lo first lockdown event, Superstars. I had to, like, be there to capture nine zones. I got the ninth one was the very final one to win. It was, like, way too stressful. It was way too stressful, man. If I'd failed that, I would have had to replay the whole tournament. Just for the lockdown challenge, because I had the, 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 the gate one's easy. Easy, easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I wonder what the point of that is. Is it like two different text boxes? Interesting. Mm. I think I'll just stick with like the first options. You're gonna mess to win 40 real online matches. Yes, that was exceedingly boring. That was, that, uh, that, uh, uh, I mean, it might be interesting to play normally, but boosting it is like, <sighs> since we, especially since we both needed it, so we need to take turns. <sighs> I 
There was also one for uh, this eating game. It said the remastered. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Castle Crashers. <laughs> there was also an eating game. So there were, there were two online uh, multiplayer achievements that I remember. There was an eating game where you mash buttons to win. But, uh, you know. Nothing about the eating one? Really? Yeah, that medic one was in the uh, OG as well. You'd have beaten it much quicker on your main too if I wasn't pointlessly farming tags. No, no, you weren't pointlessly doing it. You were having fun. It's not pointless as long as you're having fun, right? As long as you're having a good time. Alice. Luna. The green door. Right. I'm coming. They both took off for the door, and I followed behind at a run. I glanced back over my shoulder in time to see the others heading to their respective doors. What happens if I press up right now? Huh. Oh, this is... Oh, this is a log. See your the previous text. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I was wondering what the heck this was. I now know my answer. Phi, Dio, and K ducked into the red door. Just as Ten Miyoji carried Quark through the blue door, Clover right on his heels. Hmm. Feels like this is the proper one since Ten Miyoji's with Quark. Although, I don't know if there's a proper route to pick. But I know there's going to be multiple routes. Most visual novel style games have multiple routes anyway. Do you think the Edo one got replaced by the ice game, huh? No achievement for it, possibly. Hmm. Interesting. Really didn't help when it came to finding a location for four barrel rolls in a row, either. The game wouldn't uh, give me more than a triple in the spot, so I, I did it for yeah, I haven't gotten that one either. I think most I think most of the time I barrel roll I do two. I've maybe I've done three before. But I have not gotten four because I haven't gotten that trophy. You tried another track and got in your third exploratory attempt on the first lap. Show off! Huh. Show off. Show off. Two. One. Zero. Show off. <laughs> Chromatic doors closing. Whoa. Is this a dead end? All three doors seem to be locked. That's unfortunate. What's this thing here? Looks like the thing next to the number nine door. It looks like the device next to the number nine door. Stop saying what I said, Luna! How dare you? Why don't you try pulling the lever? Might as well. Huh? Look at the door on the right. It opened. Huh. That doesn't make sense. Why would just the one on the right open? How do you open the other two? You're probably just overthinking it. That door opened. That means we're going through it. Bring it on. Hmm. I mean, the one next to the number nine door only opens if somebody who has at least nine points opens it, right? So he has five points. So maybe that door opened because he has five points. And the other one's open for different point numbers. 
That would be my guess, anyway. Bragging is all I have. What? Nothing wrong with doing some bragging. Guess he'll be back on it tomorrow. I will. I'm running short and you probably need to grind 10 to 15 levels. Yep. I'll be back on Rush tomorrow. And Thursday if I need to. And Friday if I need to. I think I'll, I'll finish it Thursday though, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm pro I might be optimistic. Who knows? Trophy Guide said tw 25 hours though, right? <laughs> I wouldn't possibly take long th longer than the Trophy Guide. Right, 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 right. Definitely not. And before one of those challenges left to do is like, super tough. And I'm doomed. Probably won't finish it tomorrow. I don't expect to, no. I might finish it Thursday. It depends. Depends on how good I am, I guess. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but. Don't go soft on me now. I'll leave you behind. Oh, she's so mean. Come on, Sigma. Let's go. That's going to bug him, though. He's going to keep thinking, why did it only that one open? Dolenberg. I probably mispronounced that. I have no idea. Hmm. What is this place? It is kind of confusing, isn't it? What is it for? Well, I think it looks like some sort of workroom. If you say so. We should split up and search it. We need to find, um, key cards with moon symbols on them, right? Those are probably in a safe. Yes. They should be somewhere in this room. All right, let's get to it. Seek a way out. Oh no, I found another puzzle room. How terrible. How terrible. God damn it. My third robot. What the heckity heck? Whoa. What the heckity heck? Whoa. Hey, stop, stop trying to scroll past these. What the heck? One of those challenges, as you put it, is to win overdrive by three rounds. That would mean that they can't win at all. Because uh, uh, overdrive, I've seen three out of five. That would mean that the other guys can't win. A single round, right? Don't question your search. I mean, you don't have to imagine a whole lot, do you, already? <laughs> if you had your first two attempts to spite him, a total score of 13,000 points each round. The nearest team AI had 8,000. That means Orange can't win a single round. Yep. A poster, huh? What about all this mean? I have no idea what any of that means. Oh yeah, I forget there's no voice acting during the escape room part. It's a little unsettling. Maybe it's a clue. Yeah. Let's take it. You have found a poster with an eye in the center of it. You can view it in the archive. The archive! Can I, like, look at the back of it or anything? Wow. Wow! No, I can't turn it around, I don't think. It's probably a code or something to put in. Hmm. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. What's this weird thing right here? It's kind of a mess here. There's stuff all over this thing. What's that? It looks like a piece of something. I mean, pick it up. There's a yellow thing on the table. 
Wait, I don't pick it up. We're just gonna be like, there's a yellow thing that we're gonna talk about. Whoa. Anybody else feel dizzy all of a sudden? No, that was just your imagination. Yeah. Right. Whatever. So what the heck is this? I have no idea, which makes it pretty useless to us. Hmm. Maybe I could... What are you going to do with that? How about this? Nope. Are you serious? Maybe I could try hitting something with it. I like how there's different dialogue each time. What would you hit? Maybe there's something in here. I don't think so. Maybe if we roll it around a little bit? I don't think that's going to do anything. Let's climb up on top of it. What is that going to accomplish? Yeah! Yeah! Pushing down on it didn't seem to do anything. Maybe we're just using it wrong. And what should we be doing? Pet, pet, pet. Yeah, I'm gonna pet the table. Good table. Petting it isn't having any effect. Of course. I just need to throw it. All you're going to do is break it. Mm. Mm. Praying isn't going to help. I wasn't praying. I was thinking super hard. Wow, this looks delicious. Wait, what? How the hell is any of this delicious? Snack time. Munch, munch, munch. Uh, oh no. What's wrong with him? This is good. Oh man, it's so good. Snap out of it. Ow. Wow, she smacked me. Whoa. Anybody else feel dizzy all of a sudden? No, that was just your imagination. Yeah. Right, whatever. So what the heck is this? I have no idea, which makes it pretty useless to us. Hmm. I think we're three repeating now. <laughs> I think it's three repeating now. Interesting that there's so many different lines though. It's a table! It's a table! Who cares? Yeah, it's repeating now. It took a long time to start repeating. It was a very fascinating table. Or or or, or was it t talking about this? But I had the cursor on that thing. Profile. What? That was very exciting, Shane. My favorite was what was pet pet pet. Pet the table. Wait, I was trying to look at like the VCR or whatever the hell that is. Oh, I guess I can't. What about down here? What about down here? I can't I can't look down here. I guess not. This thing scrolls fast. Calm down! What about this paper thing here? Blue battery, huh? Interesting. That's a battery. Thin ones like that are usually used for notebooks. Like notebook laptop kind of thing. So basically you're entirely reliant on your team not fecking you over by either dominating or dominated. That's basically the same as lockdown though. It's purely AI. A toolbox. It's got a key in it. Huh? Huh. That's odd. What is it? This key. It obviously goes to this keyhole, but it won't turn. Can you get it out? 
Hmm, let me see. Rusty key. What's with this key? It's completely rusted. No wonder it won't turn. Or key. Damn it. Oh wait, sorry. Damn it. I guess it's no good. The key's too rusty to turn, huh? Yeah, looks like it. Hmm. Perhaps I should, uh... I can't look at, like, the middle shelf? Sure doesn't look like it. I can look down. What about that paper-looking thing? That paper looks important. I guess not. I mean, winning six out of six lockdown events with a total score of 36 to 3 was a feckin' joke. Huh? Yeah, I was like... <laughs> Hold on. I can't, definitely can't look at any other shelves other than the bottom shelf. This is the exit. It's locked. Sweet. Hmm. Blah, 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 blah. This thing likes to scroll way too much. What the fuck's this? A star key thing? What's this thing? It's shaped like a star. Maybe you need to put something into it. Something that's shaped like a star, I'm assuming. There's a star-shaped slot in the wall. I probably need to fit something into it. Probably. I see the safes right there. Radio! It's got an antenna. Do you think it could be a radio? Why don't you try turning it on? Yeah, well, I tried that. Nothing happens. Maybe the batteries are dead? Hmm. What is it? I don't think it runs on batteries. There's an electrical socket on the side here. So you're saying it needs a power cable. It does. What the heck is this guy? Maybe it's an Egyptian mummy. That's totally right. It's an Egyptian mummy, alright. What? Any way you look at it, it's a robot. Then maybe it's a robot? It's literally what he just said. There's no maybe about it. I can't imagine it's anything else. You're kidding, right? That's insane. Well, what do you think it is? Just a... Uh, well-made... Mannequin. That's right, totally. A robot thing. I don't think it's just a crash test dummy or something like that. Can I pick up the yellow thing? Is that an oil spill there? What is this? It feels kind of greasy. Maybe it's oil? Interesting. There's a puddle of oil on this part of the table. Maybe it's some kind of lubricant? What do I need to lubricate? Chevron block. What is this? It looks kind of like a hexagon if you flipped one of the corners in. I mean, technically it is still a hexagon, but... Hmm... A chevron-shaped block. Oh. Interesting. Hmm.
What's with the panels? Oh, I clicked on the side and it takes me here. Press the big red button! Doesn't this button seem suspicious? Yeah. Most of the buttons are boring or just incomprehensible. But this one speaks to me. What does it say? Come on, a big red button on a plate with black and yellow stripes? It couldn't scream, don't press me, any louder if it said, don't press me on it. Is it a self-destruct button? Maybe the moment we press it, we'll hear a soft hiss, and then the room will start to fill up with poisonous gas. What if it launches a missile? Oh no, it's not the Do it's the Dono, Dono! Dono, Dono, I don't know. That seems a little... Yeah! Oh no, did she press it? Uh, hey! What are you doing? It's okay. There's no way anything really dangerous would just be right out here. How do you know that? I'm pretty sure Zero Senior wants us to play through this whole game. It wouldn't make much sense to just kill us in one of these rooms. Maybe, but that's just your opinion. You could be wrong. Well, I guess so. Then why the hell did you... Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. Nothing happened, so there's nothing to get mad about, alright? <laughs> you heard that noise though, right? Like, something trying to start up? True. There's a red button in the center of the console. Let's try, let's try pushing it one more time. Yeah, something tries to start up, but it can't. There it is again. What is that? I wonder what's making it. Whatever it is doesn't sound like it's working right. It kind of sounded like it didn't have enough juice or something. Nope, not getting anything except that weird noise. Is something missing? Probably. Can I look up? No, not on zoom mode. Can, can I try any of these other ones? Ooh, what's on the screen? You're not even going to talk about that screen? That's clearly... It looks like a map of the facility, actually. Boring. Who cares about what's on the screen, apparently? Got to activate your rush twice and only two races because of it. Nobody was really well placed in the first, so no luck. That sounds about right. None of these are going to react, huh? They're just going to take me to the red button. Okay. What about this over here? Yeah, hey, uh, the stuff over there looks suspicious, man. Ah, oh, okay. It's a computer monitor. Nothing's on it, though. I don't see a power button anywhere. It's a computer monitor. It refuses to respond to us. What about the keyboard? That's a pretty old keyboard. It looks like it's been used quite a bit. Nothing happens if we try typing on it. A desk with some drawers. There's a PC monitor and keyboard on top of it. Where's the computer? I'd imagine it's built into the monitor. Hmm... It's kind of hard to see in this light, but there's a single cable coming out from the back of it. Is it a power cable? I think so. Then maybe we can connect it to something with an electrical socket. Have you seen anything like that, Sigma? You mean like the fucking, uh, radio? You mean, you mean this thing? No! I haven't seen anything like it. 
We had all six opponents in the next race, though. Six out of eight blinds total. I would have been pissed if we went to win that one six to oh. <laughs> I would have made it more exciting. I think we can plug this cable into the radio. Perfect. I guess it's nice that we plug this radio in, but what do we do with it now? Why don't you try tuning it? What? You need to adjust it so it's picking up a specific great frequency. Maybe we'll hear something. Exactly. If we get really lucky, maybe it can pick up transmissions from outside. Press the tuning buttons until you match the desired frequency. Press the check button to test your solution. Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, no! By the way, in a switch race, I was too far behind and was punished with a forced switch. Meanwhile, Orange Team's rally car, which was even further behind, just kept on going. Well, he was, see, 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 he, 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 it was special. He needed a little extra time, okay? You must press the tuning buttons exactly four times. Pressing the check button before that will do nothing. Right. I'll see what I can do. Uh, I don't think anything I've seen. All I've found is that paper with the eye on it, right? That's got nothing to do with Hertz frequencies. I don't think, anyway. It's time to try random things, obviously. Wait. Ah. Wait. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Cause there's a, uh, I don't, I don't have a clue what to do yet. I haven't seen anything with frequencies yet. Okay, well, I gave it a shot. What frequency am I supposed to tune it to, though? Hmm, I guess it's not going to do us much good unless we know that, huh? You're probably right. Let's see if we can find any clues. Fucking clues. What are these lockers. A jackpot! There's a white jacket in here. It looks like there's something on the lap lapel, lapel, or whatever, whatever the fuck you call that. A name tag. Harold, huh? There's an ID number on the back. That one one zero one zero or whatever. I have no fucking clue. Harold. This name tag must belong to a Mr. Harold. There's also something written on the back of it. It's true. Name tag that belongs to someone named Harold. Something's written on the back of it. How dare you not read it for me? Do you wear coats like this at work? Huh? You said you have a medical license, right? Oh, um, yes, yes, I do. Question mark. She's like, wait, did she did she forget that was her story? Was she lying? There's a white jacket in here. It doesn't seem to be anything else. Hmm. I was just wondering if the top was like something I opened up. Another jacket. There's a white jacket hanging in the locker. A white jacket, huh? Oh, look. There's something in this pocket. Another chevron block, huh? It looks just like the other one we found. Why would there be two of the same thing? Maybe we're supposed to attach them to each other? Really? Yes. I think there are magnets inside it. Interesting.
Cool. Is this a binder? There's a single piece of paper in here. It looks like a list. You have found a frequency list. You can review it in the archive. Amazing. I probably need that. Yeah, you close. I don't need you anymore. I check you out. A doctor's coat, huh? Would you like me to put it on? <laughs> huh? Why? I just thought you might be into that kind of thing. But what? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I prefer my, my lady is like Cleopatra, don't you know? See? Bullseye. Look at you, all bashful. You can be cute when you're embarrassed. There's a white jacket in here. It doesn't seem very suspicious to me. Now we're back here. There's gotta be a chevron on that table, though. Let me pick it up. Let me pick it up. Thank you. Our third block. It's the same shape as the other two. Hmm. I guess I could try putting the blocks together. There might be more than three, though. I'm sure you have better fortunes with the AI than I tomorrow. Wait, you think I have better fortunes with the AI than you do? What? Are you sure? Huh? There's a button up here. Then maybe you should press it. Right. Here it goes. Uh-oh. This is a safe, right? That's what I was actually selecting and then it pressed the button instead. It looks like the ones in the AB rooms in the lounge. Yeah. This one is embedded in the table, but the door looks the same. It probably works like the others too, then. We just need a password to open it, right? We do. Do I look like I have a password yet? Fuck off. Damn. What should I do? I don't know. Figure out the fucking password. Look! It's eyes! They're glowing red? Does that mean it's on? Hmm? Hello? Sir? Are you here? A robot -y thing. It's been powered on, but hasn't done so much as Twitch. Then again, it's not like I want it to Twitch. Yeah, I'd prefer it not do that. What are you doing? That's the door we came in through. There's no point to going back out it. All you're going to do, all you're going to find, is the closed chromatic door. You do know that, right? Hey, I was just searching all the things. Let me look. Prelia. What was, what was this link? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I, I think I saw that somewhere. Hired to Twitter, then you can join in on Sumi to Musk by getting fired right away. I don't think Twitter will be around by then. Actually, it'll probably still be around, but... I don't think they're hiring right now. Hmm. Oh, this is making the star. 
And it fit per or it fits perfectly. Honestly, I thought the safe would give me the star. So there were magnets in there. And that means Look at that, a finished star. So they make a star when you put them all together. I do. Where was the graphic profit before I took it over, you know? Three, was it? I actually have no idea how profitable it was. Its main source of income would be advertising, wouldn't it? If not selling your data. Huh? That's odd. Why won't it fit? The star-shaped block? Yeah. It's the same shape and everything. Well, maybe it's not the right size. I guess so. It looks like this block is a little too big to fit. Wait, what? How are you supposed to... What? Wait, you want me to do... What do you want me to do with it? I'm gonna chop it down to size. Actually, I just thought of what to do with the key. Let's lubricate the key a little. Let's see if we can, anyway. Maybe it'll be able to open that lockbox then. Maybe if I put this rusty key in the oil. Oil covered key. Amazing. The key we found in the toolbox's keyhole. I put it in the oil and now it's all oily. Ha 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 ha. Ah, scrolls way too fast. Ah, I need more notifications when you go live. Ah, oh no, oh no, oh no. Tell Twitch to send like three more. Three more. What's up? What's happening? How's it going, Sinclair? Hope you're doing well today. I hope you'd want to be advertising such an echo chamber cesspool. I mean, like before, before uh, Elon took over. Before. Before, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of people that advertise on it. Maybe not so much anymore, but still. I don't know if smart notifications if that's on. Huh, huh, huh. Just running wild today. That's right. Today I'll do a detective game. I guess it worked. The lock's open. Yeah. Let's have a look inside then, shall we? There's a bunch of stuff in here. Might as well have a look then. Bottle of detergent? What? A bottle of detergent. I think I saw a commercial for this the other day. It's supposed to eradicate grease and oil stains. Okay. A green bottle of detergent. Well, apparently it's pretty tough on stains. Oh. Screwdriver! Was that before he took over too? What? No, it was a professional place to hang out. Don't you know? Smart notifications block you getting emails from Twitch if it's turned on. When currently viewing Twitch. Oh, interesting. Find an open crew galley for your daily points. Stuck ramming cannon cove. Guy on the wheel. Sails all down. They just wanted to see if they could get on the island, okay? That's a screwdriver. You could probably use it to unscrew screws. No way. Really? That's what a screwdriver's for? No way. A screwdriver. I can remove screws with it. Oh, shit. Oh. Silver key. 
A silver key. We can probably open a lock with this. You think? No way. A silver key. What have I seen that's locked? I actually can't think of anything else. It's empty. There's nothing in here anymore. Where did I see another key that was unlockable? Uh, I don't know. Can I search the drawers down here? I can! Tablet! Huh. Oh! I bet the battery doesn't work in it. That's what the battery's for to replace. And before this replacement battery's dead. I hope to turn it with a harpoon, but one idiot dropped anchor that was doing it. They, they wanted to stay there. So I got a keg, swam to the friendship, and dropped it below the bow spring, raised anchor. So this crew has had no idea what happened. Um, the island exploded on them is what happened, right? It, it should have text typed something like, um, oh, must have been one of those new explosive crabs I've heard about. <laughs> huh. No response from this tablet. Is it broken? Part of the back seems to be held on by screws. I'd bet that's where the batteries go. Wow. 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 Oh, there's a red battery somewhere. I've only found the blue battery so far. Oh. I gotta find the red battery. There's nothing left inside. Doesn't look like it's going to open. It's probably locked. I don't see a keyhole anywhere, though. How about the top one? No good. It won't open. Is it locked? Yeah. Well, there's a keyhole here, so we could probably get it open if we can find a key that fits. Hey, I definitely don't have a key. I didn't find a new silver key recently. Yes! It worked! Now open it! Hold on, no need to rush me. Oh, interesting. A true location for the star key. What the heck? There's nothing in here. Hmm. Well, if there's nothing in there, then maybe we're supposed to put something in there. Like what? I don't know, but it would probably go in that star-shaped slot. Um, probably this star-shaped item I have. Right here. Seems to be a screw loose in Luna's head, jammed it into her head. She, she just, she's just uh, providing emotional support, but no brain thinking power, okay? Yes! It fits perfectly! Did, did you just hear a noise? Yeah. From the middle drawer. The middle one, huh? Ooh, a handle with a star shape on there. Is this a handle? Look at the end of this shaft. It's the same shape as that block we made. Then maybe it fits into a star shaped hole? Have you seen anything like that this might fit into, Sigma? Yeah, we literally looked at it five minutes ago. But you know, she has to say that in case we haven't, right? See, I closed all the drawers. Maybe this thing over here. Yes, perfect! 
characters like that are going to be the dream in the next season? The clueless ones? Yes, they will be. <laughs> Maniacal laughter here. <laughs> Do you think you can turn it? Yeah, give me a sec. Wait, righty tidy, lefty loosey right. How do I know which way to turn it? What? What the hell? Something's coming down from the ceiling. Those are. Oh, more robots. I just one wear have a pair of shorts on. Oh my god. You look just like the thing on the table. Robots. Seems to be a screw listener her jammed into her head. Seems to be a screw it jammed it into her head. What? Do it. Time to murder. I'm sorry, but once I used the screwdriver to unlock the tablet, it disappeared from my inventory. I don't have it anymore. It's been used. I do want to try the washing thing on the oil stand on the table. Oh. Are you going to use that detergent to clean up the oil? That sounds like a good idea, but... I don't think the detergent by itself is going to be enough. You need something to wipe it up with. Then how about putting the detergent on a rag or something? Seems like that would be easier. Hmm, I don't have a rag yet. No, I want death, blood for blood gods. I mean, people can die in this game, probably. So you'll probably get your death before too long. I'll probably pick the wrong options and everybody will die and I'll be like, no! Killed everybody! I got them all murdered! I guess I could use that guy's shorts. I mean, he don't need shorts, right? I know I'm repeating myself here, but what the hell are these things? They're robots. I told you. So what? Is this some sort of secret military R&D lab? Why would you think that? Isn't it obvious? These things are weapons. You don't know that. What? Are you gonna say these are built for housework? Sure, I can see people buying monstrous metal skeletons to stock their house, vacuuming rooms, folding clothes, and rocking children to sleep. Yeah, totally. I don't think all of these robots are here just to scare us or surprise us or something. This just seems like an awful lot of work to go to just to get a reaction out of us, you know? Yeah... You have a point. These are definitely real robots. There are a bunch of kind of creepy looking robots lined up along either side of the room. They appeared to have been powered on, but they haven't moved at all. Let me steal your boxers. That is it! Everyone's like, what? Everyone's like, why? Why is, why is he wearing boxers? <laughs> this one's wearing boxers. Yeah, yeah, looks like it. Why would a robot be wearing underwear? Maybe he's, uh, hiding something. Hiding what, though? This robot appendage. <laughs> Like a diary or something? Oh my fucking god, Luna, no. Why the hell would you hide a diary in your crotch? I don't know. That's the new hip trendy place to hide it, right? Okay, well, maybe he's got a hose or something? Yeah, he's got a hose or right. Whoa, damn, way to cut to the chase there. Whatever, we'll know as soon as we get them off. Remove these shorts of a obfuscation. Obfuscation. Big long words. Kill her? Wait, what? No! Just because she's dense, you know, doesn't mean she needs to die. Just let her be dense. Just let her be dense. 
Remove these shorts of obfuscation and let us gaze upon it. This so-called hose. Hose. I'm going to have to Google that word. Give a sec. Where'd I put my phone? I got enough on pronouncing this word. Obfuscation. Obfuscation. I'm not sure. I got enough. I got enough. I must know. It's going to bug me if I don't look it up. What, 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 what? Obfuscation. Obfuscation. There we go. We figured it out! It told us! You're actually making something obscure, unclear, or unintelligible. Her being dense makes her good for throwing at the enemies. What? Not that kind of dense. Not that kind of dense. Aren't you getting a little too excited about this? No. All right, here goes. <laughs> Luna, I haven't done anything yet. He's still decent. <laughs> Besides, when you covered your face, you opened your fingers so you could see out. How old are you? <laughs> Arg, you two are driving me nuts. I'll just take them off. Huh? Hey -ya! Wow, boxers. Amazing. Boxers. You should try them on, Sigma. What? What? Why? I thought they might suit you. Why would you think that? Well, what do we need them for if we're not supposed to wear them? Hmm. Maybe we're supposed to use them to wipe something? Uh. Not to wear, but to wipe. Yes, I think that's it. I think I'm supposed to use it as the rag for, to clean up that oil spill, yeah. Hey, he looks exactly the same. Is that it? It looks just like the other robots. That's a letdown. Alice wanted to see some D. <laughs> what the hell were you hoping for? <clears throat> Just help him for something interesting. So there's robots on the other side, right? Oh, one of them's got the red battery. Give me that. No, no, no. Over here. Over here. It's hard to it's hard to select. Move the move this thing. It's hard to move this thing because it wants to move real fast. What? 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 Red battery. Don't you know what that is? Of course I do. It says right here. It's a battery, right? Maybe it goes in some sort of thin electronic device. Damn, if only we had a fucking tablet to put it in. Oh, hey, the power's on. It's showing something. An authentication screen, maybe? It probably has some sort of security lock. Enter the password, then press the enter button on the right. I have no fucking clue what the password is. Oh, wait. What if it's the ID on the back of the Herald tag? But I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the back uh, the thing on the back of the tag. Frequency list, poster with an eye on it. Do you think the poster with an eye on it's the password? Maybe this is the password clue? Hmm. 
No, no, wants a peek. No! Spam it. Spam the boxers. The boxers? I can do that. I don't think it's going to say anything different, though. No good. I can't figure it out. We need some sort of clue. We do. Underwear. I can use them to wipe things, I guess. Ah, it's, it's, it just says the same thing. Robot with bo the boxers. Robot that had them. In the past. Uh, was that the second or third one? I forget which one. I don't think it was the third one. Oh, it doesn't say anything new. I don't say anything anymore. It's boring now. I'd have missed it. Look like the flag was placed with a blank event. What? No. Quick, I gotta replay the whole game all over again. Wait, what the fuck? When did that turn on? <laughs> this came down with the robots, right? Oh, did it? Yes. It's got a pipe running out of it toward them. I have a feeling that means there's a connection there. Supply the correct voltage by connecting the wires. You can begin anywhere on the left and finish anywhere on the right. You can rotate a wire by touching its corresponding square. The numbers in the middle of each wire indicate the voltage of that wire. Okay. Let me just give this a try. What? Well, how, how much voltage am I supposed to supply, though? I don't know the amount that I'm supposed to supply. It probably says somewhere. I don't see 120 volts here. Or 240. Simple maths. Simple maths! Wait. Wait. I, I'm just rotating it? What's it mean when it's pink? Pink! 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 I don't know why I'm making them pink. Whoa! Hundred and fifty is the wrong number. I don't know how much voltage I'm supposed to supply. This is just the list for the Oh That's the list for the radio. Did it tell me how much voltage I was supposed to supply? Maybe I should check. I can't figure it out. Yes, I can. I just gotta figure out what the voltage is supposed to be. I mean, what voltage am I supposed to set this thing to anyway? That's exactly what I was saying! I don't know what the voltage I'm supposed to set it to. We're not going to get very far unless we know that. In other words, we need more information. Have either of you seen anything that mentions voltage anywhere? I don't know, have I? Not to look around. You're sorry? That's okay. Whatever it is. I think I can clean up the oil spill now. Are you thinking of wiping up the oil with those boxers? I don't know if that's going to work. That oil looks like it's on there pretty good. You're probably not going to get it off without, I don't know, some kind of detergent or something. 
Oh, do I need to combine the two first? Combine! Boxers soaked in detergent. Hooray! Try wearing that now, bitch. It's not going to wear now. Sure. Wait, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that, Gina? What? 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 Is some, is one of your friends going to play it or something? That's the only reason I could ever think of downloading that game again. You want to see the hours played? Too many hours. Okay, here it goes. You're going to wipe up the oil with the boxers, right? Yeah. Okay, go for it. Good. 120 volts. It actually is 120? I was joking about that. Looks like it's clean now. I wonder what this is. There's something written here that the oil was covering up. It has 120 volts. I was joking about the 120 volts. Oh wait, how do you get to 120? Not with 110, blah blah blah, 30. Oh my god, math! Oh no, math! Hmm. 35, 35, 30 is 100. 60, 40 is 100, too. What about 60, 30, 40? No, 60... Hmm. That'd be 110. Oh, wait. Yes. Uh, wait. Uh, 40 plus 30, 70 plus 60. would be 120, wouldn't it? Oh, 70, 80, 90, 100, 100. Yeah, 60, 40, and 30. See, I can totally do math. I'm not terrible at math. T definitely not. Not me. Uh uh. I guess I can't math. I can't math at all. I don't know how to do math, guys. I failed math. Oh, wait. I was thinking four to three. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right. I can't math. I failed math class, people. I don't know how to math. It's so sad. Well, that'd be 110. Wait. Wah! I, d I definitely didn't fail math class, right? <laughs> actually did well in math class back when I was doing math in school. actually did pretty well because, you know, I, I like did this weird thing called studying. But as soon as you don't need it anymore, it drains from your poor brain. It's so sad. I'd be 65. No, that'd make 125. What's going on in this game again? Uh, a bunch of people are kidnapped and thrown in a facility and we have to do a bunch of puzzles and play this game in order to maybe escape. So we're given a bunch of puzzle escape room type of things. 
And if we play their game, they might let us live. Can't you only see the hours to let up the game on PS5? If it didn't clean up, that robot would catch on fire and hug all of you to death because sparks. What? That robot wouldn't hug me to death. No, tell it wouldn't hug you to death. It's pretty stupid you can't see your played hours on the PS4 games. Except when you get your year-end report and it tells you how many hours you had. What's the point of that? Well. 40, 80. Oh, uh, wait. What if I do that? 40, 30 plus 10 would be 40. So that would be 80. 90, 100, 110, 50, then the 5. What if I did that? I have to get to 30 first. Wait, no, I have to do 10. Go down to 30. Let me start there. Uh, uh. What? What? Actually, I meant to do that. Because you can only, they're all corners. Oh, wait. Uh. 235 would be 70, 80. Oh yeah, true. That's true. You could do that too. The one I had was 30 plus 10, then 40 be 80. Then a 35 would make it 115, wouldn't it? Then the 5 would be 120. There's a couple ways you could do it. Why are they all corners? Why can't we have some straights? Actually, you're restricted on your path because of all the corners, aren't you? Probably are supposed to do it that way. Wait. And then you're stuck doing 100 or 60. My goodness, no one is pl playing. Shocking. No one's playing. That mysterious game I can't quite remember the name of. Say it ain't so. I'm astounded. 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 Hmm. I like the idea of 30, 10, B, 40, 80, 90, 100, 110, 115, 100, This is good. This can only be that way or that way. Wait, no, it can't. Unless it's that. The vultures they want? 120. But I can't do that because that can't be a three. I'll figure it out though. I'll figure it out, Sinclair. I'll figure it out. It's okay. Isn't Onrush only PS4? Wait, what? No, I'm pretty sure Onrush is on Xbox as well, and maybe PC. You had 12 hours at the moment, 141 and you also zero. You played on PS4 is what I mean. Oh, okay. 
Hey, that's not what I was selecting. I was selecting the fire. Wait. How would I... Get that? Oh, but I need the 40. So this is fine. But that's where I... Hmm. Oh wait, you can have multiple wires. Maybe that's what, what I need to do. Maybe I need multiple wires. But how would I get to 10 though? Fuck your RNG. You have 489 hours on Vermintide. You never got the pickup from that DLC for last trophies. You didn't? And you did it in 257 hours. <laughs> Go get your last pickup for the DLC, Gina. You got a game to go finish. There's no straight. I'm saying I'm struggling internally for this puzzle. Oh no! It's okay. I'm supposed to press. Wow. On well, 65, way above. I'm supposed to have 120. Oh, that's okay. I mean, 105 could work if I got 10 and 15, but I can't get through here. I have to hit the 100 or the 60 because there's no straights. I have 666 hours, Monster Hunter. Uh-oh, I got to do an extra hour now. More frame time is 1,200 hours. I mean, that sounds about right to me. That sounds good. There's no way I go through here. I'd have to pick 60 or 100. I'm supposed to be cutting exiles in one hour. Thanks to cheese, yeah. I have nine hours of that game. I can't quite remember enough. Uh, obviously, that's broken. You have 184 hours. That's probably more like what I've, I've actually got.
Why's it all gotta be? If that 35 wasn't in the corner, I'd be golden. What if I don't start with the 10, but I start with the 30? But then you'd have two branching paths. A long puzzle, just what you like. Oh, no! Morn's a... Oh, you got way more than me. You like double me. Yeah, PS3 titles didn't track playtime. Sure, I got this side done. I'm using the correct numbers anyway. Problem is the 10. Got 40, 45, 80, 110, 120. Hundred ten is not good enough. It needs to be 120. Yeah, but to turn that means it won't be able to go over there. Unless they want me to use this 35 instead of this 35. But, wait. No. What would that be? 95? Yeah, all the other numbers wouldn't work. Wait, I could just start you there, couldn't I? Turn that one. Ah! I keep turning the wrong ones. That's this thing. That's this thing. That one. Why oh, you gotta be like this? Uh, 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 uh. We did it! We solved it! 
Woohoo! We we are super smart now. We got the smarts. We're the smartest people here. Har, 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 har. Man, you got way more than Dead by Dead than I do. That's funny. Makes perfect sense, though. Sure, I've seen this puzzle in the Crystal Maze. Well, spoilers. This is the solution for the puzzle in Crystal Maze. Watch out. Watch out. Completed. Good job, Sigma. Oh, you're amazing. Thank you. I'm bowing now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My head hurts now. It's all your fault, game. I've fallen for you all over again. Wait, what? <laughs> hey, what? Power distribution complete. Reboot sequence complete. Please press the power button located on the console. But, whoa, what was that? I'm not sure. Better do what it says, though. I think I'm done with this thing. The la that last announcement seemed to be suggesting that I should push the power button on the console. The console? Like the big red button? <laughs> that announcement just now is about this button. You guys ready? I'm gonna push it. Yes, I'm ready. Same here. Go for it. All right. And there. Did it work? Oh, look. Their eyes. Eyes. Must look. Oh no! Oh no! Well, except for the guy who was wearing the boxers. He's still got both of his eyes. All their left eyes, and except the guy wearing boxers, he was classy, right? Oh wait, no, it's not. It's different. Oh, you know, I bet I know what this is. I bet this is the thing that tells me. The password. I correspond that with the eyes. How do I know which side is which, though? Which side's left side of the room? Which side's right side of the room? So there's one, two. Oh gosh, wish this scrolling was a bit faster or slower. So, there's two letters for each circle, right? R, E, A. Was that going to be reach or something? I don't know. Oh no, that's a B. If I've got the... Yeah, let's figure out which one doesn't sound like gibberish. So if it's, uh, if this side's the left side of the room. B, and you skip that guy. E, A. I wonder if it's gonna be beacon. Ah, stop scrolling so fast. Uh. Yeah, this is Beacon. Beacon! Bacon. Which is a word, so it's, this is probably the proper way. That's our puzzle now. The robot's eyes lit up in correspondence with letters on that eye poster I have. Oh, 
both uh, right and right. This is presuming it's, it's this way though, right? Probably not. Do I read right to left on this one? Probably not. That, that, that sounds like gibberish. Right, left, and then nothing. Hmm. Corey said, not streaming tomorrow, right? Wait, what? I'm playing on rush tomorrow. I'm totally streaming tomorrow. What are you talking about? I'm not streaming tomorrow next week. Next week's Thanksgiving week, so I won't be here after Wednesday next week. What kind of degenerate stuff are you sending me on Discord? Oh, for bop! What are you thinking next week? Wait, I already forgot what I was looking at here. Which side corresponds to which way to read it? Right, left, muffin, right, right, both. Hmm. I needed that info. What? S C. That's pre that don't make sense. H O P E. H O P E could be hope, right? HOPE could be hope if there's right, right, both, but. What? Yeah. One of the robot size is glowing red. I say for that one. Both? Both of the robot size are glowing red. And fitting because room we're in at the moment. Oh, is that so? What makes it beacon and not icon or bacon? The, uh... Uh, uh... I guess I need to touch pad this to get it. The way the eyes glow. I think that corresponds to letters. So say the first one there, the right eye is glowing. So it'd be the right letter in the first group. Just B. Going down rabbit hole, there'll be more. No, must save yourself. Save yourself. So, no eyes lit here, so you skip the circle. And this is EA, so this is B E A. And that's the right one, left one, left one. Or no, left one, right one, right one. I'm thinking that in my other perspective. Left and rights are hard. So, right or left eye, right eye, right eye. So I'm pretty sure up here is beacon. I just key red line. <sighs> I mean, maybe there'll be a red line puzzle again at some point. Hmm, the question is, do, do these ones correspond the same way, or do I treat them as though they're on the other side of the room? We got... Oh, left eye. The first one's left eye, wouldn't that make that O? F? Skip that one. Oh, okay. Beacon of hope. Oh. 
Yeah, it's beacon of hope. Amazing. I wonder if I need spaces. Probably not. I don't see a space bar. We've only got the exact right amount of space anyway. You did it, Sigma! You got through the login! Speaking of hope, how optimistic. Sure, sure. Look at the screen. Hmm. Is this the password for the safe? Sun, sun, star, huh? Found a safe password. View it, navigate to the past tab in the archive. I found one of them anyway. Oh, let's just get the other password, huh? It looks like we need to put in 12 characters. Is there 12 of anything else in here? If there is, maybe there's a connection. Hmm. I think the green one is the escape password and the blue one is the uh, file password. I probably need to d mess with the frequency for that. Seven hundred hertz. Let's just go down the list. I think Harold's was this one. One one zero one zero. If I remember right. Yeah, one one zero one zero. I disagree. The answer is bacon fence. The game is wrong. What? Well, you just need to make a better game, Dolby. Make yourself an escape room game. Uh, makes way more sense than this one. There's nothing on the monitor. Hmm. Press the tuning buttons to match the desired frequency. Press the check button to test your solution. You must press the tuning buttons exactly four times. Pressing the check button before then will do nothing. That's the part that makes it tough. Alright. Am I inputting the thing if I press those buttons though? That's going way more. One, two, three, four. That's going way more. Press and play once jumps it by three. That was 700 hertz, though, I think. Now I can come review your findings? I don't know if I want to come review your findings. Your findings looked kind of thirsty. Don't you know it's November? Don't you know it's November? Aren't you supposed to be a decent citizen in November? If I did the red the eyes, it would be lion. Ha ha ha! Nonstop. Can't believe it. So, Harold's was 400, right? Huh? 
What was that noise? Look! The monitor! It reacted to the noise from the radio and turned on! So it's some kind of voice recognition system then? It looks that way, yes. There's something on the screen. This is... I think it's a blueprint of this room. You found an image of the room layout. You can review it in the archive. I see. This is uh, where I am. That's the voltage thing. Those are all the robots. That's the table. That's the oil spill I cleaned up. This is a blueprint for something I already did. Amazing. So I should have done the frequency puzzle earlier, don't you know? I wonder if I could pick a different combination. I wonder if I could pick different frequency. 700 hertz didn't do anything. What about a thousand hertz? I want to try all the things. Unless it doesn't let me mess with it anymore. A radio. I don't think we need it anymore. Oh, okay. I guess none of the other frequencies did anything then. Do you think you can form a second set of words with these? Like what if you flip them around? The name tag's purpose is for me to know which frequency I was supposed to do. Where do I get the second password though? What happens if I press the button again? No reason for me to push the button now. Why not? Why not for fun? Is that not a good enough reason? What if I flip it around and treat it the other side? Hello, sir. You gonna duck and cover? You better, Gina. You have to wait until December, don't you know? You're only halfway through the month today. What happens if I try to do this? Left, right, or left, left. <laughs> Yeah, I see the word icon. Amazing. Hmm. Powerful stare. What? What are you powerful stare at me for? I've got the escape password, but there's two passwords for every escape room, Dolby. I'm trying to figure out what I need to do for the, you know, file password. I never thought this was actually a platform for robots. I'm trying, I'm trying to use my brain and be smart. Be smart. Be smart. Trying, trying to think. These don't be bacon fence. I didn't know. 
I can try bacon fence if you want. I'll try bacon fence if you want. Let me try bacon fence. Probably not since it's two characters short. Darn it, though, but it's not bacon fence. Hmm, I don't get it. What is Luna talking about? What else is there 12 of in here? What else is there 12 of in here? One, two, three. Uh, I can't count with the scroll. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's 12 robots. 12 robots. I was thinking, since I did, did this as the top and bottom of the picture, what if I flipped it around or mirrored it and did it the other way? What if I treated this as the top and the other one as the bottom? So, did, 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 so baby, both right, right. But that doesn't work, does it? Because both of that's RB. RBMA. Yeah, that doesn't sound like anything that makes logical sense. Do, do, do. Are you cry crying and then dot the thought? What? 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 doing the same thing, Dana. They're both doing lots of thinking right now. I think there's two solutions to this robot puzzle. I'm pretty sure this game was only like 20-25 uh, hours on the expected time, by the way. What do you want to bet those people used a guide? If you spend all night, I will be asleep. See ya, nerd. See ya, nerd! You're talking about yourself, right? See ya! See ya later, alligator! I want to push the button. I'm doing a puzzles cannot be one, but I can beat Sussy Baka. Oh, we can. I say, I say. Now nerd, no! There's not a requirement for someone to be a nerd. I can just not be one. Loser! 
I'm a winner, and you know it. Get out of here! 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 Good night, Gina. Sleep tight, no bed bugs. Time out. He wanted it. He wanted to take a nap. Eight hours too full. What? Can't believe you. Can't believe you. There you go. Hello, hello. Good, good, good. I think there's a second answer here. Yeah. But I'm not sure how I'm supposed to look at it. Rose fence. Rose red line. Ha 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 ha. Wasn't a joke. I think it's plausible. Hey, do you want me to put it in Rose Fence? Getting rose fence anyway. Hmm. If I flip those around. I can't write for shit on this thing. But flip it around, I get sen and what? Cop? Sen cop? I don't think sen cop is a thing. One moment! Oh, okay. Never know. S E N. That right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Right, left, left. That's send cop, all right. How do you doubt that? That doesn't sound like work. What about the other side? I already forgot which direction I read it from. 
Both right, right. RB don't make no sense though. RBMA don't make no sense. Marco Forte had Orient yourself? That's a great question. You wish. What about on the ceiling? What if the code is just 12 robots or some shit? That'd be fucking funny. It's the right amount of characters, but it's not it. Oh, you're just bouncing back and forth. Ah, I see. Figured I'm just looking for dumb stuff. We'll have to try it. We'll have to try it just just because you suggested it. Darn, though, we didn't work. I didn't count how many lights are on the ceiling, but I I'm going to try 12 lights, I guess. Nah, I can't believe this. I was just trying to think of something that there might be 12 of in the room. Hmm, huh, I don't get it. What is Lynn talking about? What else is there 12 of in here? 12 something. Is the password 12 something though? There are 12 robots, but that's not the password. I can't think of anything else. There's 12 of here in this room. This doesn't do anything anymore, right? Any eyes are lit up? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's actually gonna be twelve for the characters. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. I did try twelve lights though. But the lights uh correspond to the letters on the uh, paper. But which eyes are lit up indicates which letters are here. And I already figured out one password, but each escape room has two two uh, solutions. So I'm trying to figure out the second solution is. So the first solution was Beacon of Hope. You got like B, E, A, C, O, N here. And then L, F, H, L, P, E. So I was trying to figure out if there was a second, uh, phrase in here like maybe if if you treat flipped it around and this was like the other wall or something mm, what if i mirrored it the what if it was flipped around and mirrored what what if what if what if okay which one's uh that's uh both and then right, right, right there. Hmm. 
Doesn't all make sense. Oh. Left, right. So if I just straight up mirrored the I just mirrored it though. So Think you just solved that? It's red lions are cool, right? Red lions are awesome. Wait, that's too many characters. I need to go see the eyes again. So the way I looked at it before, the robot over here is the O, oh, right? So if I read it that way, but you're not going to like SC. They sent it to me, spoiler tag. What? You don't want me here all night? Please. Please, you want me here all night? Please only look per the instructions. <sighs> Can't let it out. That was... Ooh, what if I just rotated the room? Or like rotated the map? And that became... Comes left. That's yeah, still left either way, but left, right. What's left, right up here? RM. Eh, probably not anything RM. That's probably not it. So I was treating it like this wall. Oh, wait, if this wall got rotated around to be this wall, it would be at the end, wouldn't it? Hmm, so that'd be N. N, N, though. Oh, my. N, N. Oh. Oh. Got rotated. Those would be the first one. And left, left. But RB don't make no sense. RB E E RB RBs are very cool. Arby's is a nice restaurant. So I don't think it's simply like rotated around. I just swap the eyes. I treat all the left eyes like right eyes and stuff. What if I do that? Uh. So the first one was a left then a right. What if it was a, if it was a right then a left, it'd be SC. 
This one got skipped though, didn't it? I don't, I don't remember the song. Well, if I remember the first one, uh, let's see. That don't make no sense. The S C C E E. It ain't English. I do find it funny you were reaching across the aisles to make Rose Fencer. Brought you down here and just replaced your letter. R M don't make no sense. R M R. Oh. And I. Nope. Because I was being stupid when I put my mind to it, I solved it. Wait, I'm putting my mind to it right now. I'm putting my mind to it right now. I haven't solved it yet. That means I'm too pro. Right. I already know I appreciate the effort. I do, I do gotta wonder how many people stream this game and sit here like me and suffer. Instead of just googling it after five minutes. How'd you get Beacon? Because the first uh, one on the other... Uh, I'll show you like the... Uh, for the first uh, puzzle, you look at this side. And this side corresponds to the top of the paper. So you look at the eye... The red eyes here. And you correspond that with the letters. The red glowing eyes corresponds with a letter. And, uh, it was the top. This wall is the top row. And so the left eye is lit on that robot. There's no eyes lift on the, lit on this one, so you skip these ones. And then you got right eye, left eye, left eye. So you got beacon up there. And then down here you had the ones lit to be OF, beacon of hope. And I already put in that password, and that password worked. So I've got the one password. I've got the one password. But each uh, each uh, one has two passwords, like this puzzle. So I'm trying to find the one for the blue answer. I've got the escape password, but I'm trying to get the file password. Because I, I, I love suffering and punishment. I love to make my brain do stuff. Like, think. I, I, I feel the neurons firing right now. I trust in your abilities. What? You do? I can't believe you. Why do you trust my abilities, Toby? Why do you trust in my abilities? What if the sides are the same, but I just mirror the letters? Instead of rotating. Bah, 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 B N. Uh, that switch. N I C. Would that be that? This would flip, right? Trying to picture it mirrored in my head is very fun. What if the letters didn't? What? Would the letters mirror too? Or... Would the letters swap? I don't know. Would the letters stay the same? Skip that, right? This is my full, I guess. Ah! That's right! You have come to the realization. 
some, you're some fool who likes watching a pro on the internet. Look at some words and be like, uh. 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 This is why they give you a memo. So you could be like, here's where the eyes were, guys. Eyes. Uh, I skipped this one, right? Both eyes. Eyes! Was it both? I think it was just O there. And then N there. Wow, ama amazing drawing right now. Wow, look at my amazing draw. That's that's the positioning of the eyes. What about all the letters that weren't selected? What if it's what if it's the ones that aren't lit? R E M I N. Remin. Oh, reminisce, is it? Maybe? M R. Nah. C E N C E what? Oh, is it reminisce? What? I gotta see how this is spelled here. Is it the eyes that are not lit? We got R E M. Is that I N I? And then S C E N C E? Hmm, I mean, that's a word. Isn't it? Rem reminiscence? Is that 12 characters? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Isn't that 11? Wait, 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 I can't count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's 12. That's the right amount of characters. Maybe it's just the eyes that aren't lit. That's very simplistic. But uh, it would be about right. It would make sense. Uh, re let's see if I remember our spell reminis- remin- remin- reminiscence. Uh, that's it. It's just the ones that weren't lit. Amazing! <laughs> I suspected as much. No, you fucking didn't. I tried like a billion other things, like mirroring it first, but it didn't make any sense. I tried turning the pa the paper around. I'd guess to be twelve reminiscences of robots in the room. <laughs> I know, right? work! I'm impressed! What's our prize, I wonder? The screen's changed. We get the other password. Huh? This looks different. The symbols have changed, and they're in different places. Yeah, they are in different places. You have found a safe password. To view it, navigate to the Pass tab in the archive. The options are limited now. They are? They're only as limited as you make them out to be. You're limiting yourself, young man. Always admitted to being a fool, though. We're all fools, Toby. We're all, every single one of us is a fool. We're all fools. All of us.
Yeah, I do think that thing about what are the, else are there 12 of or whatever is kind of a, a disingenuous hint because it kind of leads you away. It makes you think that you're supposed to like look for 12 things in the room or whatever. I already forgot the passwords. I have to go look them up. No, oh, what's the blue one? Star, sun, moon. Let me do the blue one first. Ah! No, no, no. No! Ah! No! Ah! Down here! This touchpad thing. There you go. Uh, I already forgot him again. <laughs> I remember what Star Sun meant. Okay, a Star Sun. I didn't remember the word. Oh. Complete that. Good work! Huh. Well done. That's with the attitude. Never mind that. Let's just see what's inside. You have found a gold file. To view it, visit the secret tab in the archive. Ooh, and then it's a bunch of, like, game stuff or whatever. It's like a bunch of whatever here, blah, 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 blah. blah. It explains a bunch of stuff in the game or whatever, like the whole point is like an in-depth list of explaining stuff. Whoa, 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 like explaining the roles and things. I did all that for some extra stuff. There's probably trophies for, uh... Wait, wait, what the fuck is that math looking shit? What the fuck is this math looking shit? Whoa! Okay, I'm out. Uh, I'm gonna look at the password for the other one, though. Sun, sun, star. Back the way too far. Oh, they're limited. They're not! They're only as limited as you make them. In actuality, they're the same as they've always been. So, so there, so there. Your dumb answer was wrong. It was? What was your answer? Hmm. <laughs> hey, but that's what the answer was. What are you talking about? I don't know what that means. Good, good, good. Good. Oh, it opened again. I wonder what's inside this time. Stuff. There's a lot of stuff in here. That's good, isn't it? Better than having nothing, at least. Let's go through them one by one. First, we've got... A map. Yeah, it's the same map, but with arrows for some reason. It says floor B. Oh, it's the map for floor B. Oh, the map we got before was floor A. Ugh. Good. Yes. Good. The map we found in the lounge said floor A on it. Well, we took the elevator down to get here, so... Floor A must be the upper floor. Yeah. Keep going. There's still a lot in there. These must be... Key cards. They have a picture of the moon on them. This must be what the announcer was talking about then. And we've got two of them, just like with the sun cards. You should take one, Luna. Huh? Why? 
You're a solo. Alice and I can keep the other one. Uh, oh, of course. Thank you. All right, what's next? Looks like a note. Here has some more AB game rules for you. Not voting is not a not an option. An option. An option. I know you're making a rabbit pun with option instead of option, but the an, an, an option. What the hell? What the hell? Why not just say a? Can't believe it. If both parties refuse to vote, then everybody gets penalized. In other words, one person out of every color group of three has to vote. So all three of us can't abstain. There has to be at least one vote. Why would there be a rule like that, though? It seems pointless. I think Zero Senior wants to make sure people are actually playing the game, regardless of the situation. What sort of situation are you talking about? Well... It could be anything, really. <clears throat> Stare down. Whatever. We've only got two things left. What's this thing? What is that? It looks like some sort of plug or key. Oh, do you think it could be the one for K? It looks like it could be the thing you put in the back of K. Looks like a big key, though. Confirm, robot. I would guess you insert it into something in Twist. Did you see anything in here that could f it could fit into? Even if we did, does it really matter at this point? What? Look in the safe. What's the last thing in there? A key. Is that the key to the exit? Pretty sure it is. We can get out now. You see, Alice is the type of person who wouldn't have sat there for an extra half hour trying to think of the second password to put in to get the gold file. She, she would have gotten the escape password and left. Like, fuck those gold files. She'd be out of here. Key found in safe. Amazing. That's a key, all right. This is the key we found in the safe. It should open the exit. Oh. Awesome. Let's... Hey! What should we do about the plug? Um... Fine. I guess I'll hold on to it. I doubt we'll need it, but you never know. I think it gets used on K, but I could be wrong. Sounds good. Let's go. See you later, creepy robots. I'm out of here. The Terminator jumped me on any second. Or shows right. I had to say wrong. It was wrong. So you check and expect something silly. Aha! Aha! Sock rabbit's wording makes sense in my eyes. No. You have A before the next word with starts with a consonant, and if the next word starts with a vowel. And H is a consonant. It's not pronounced like our. It's based on how it sounds, not how, not how it's uh, written. So you'd have to pronounce it as a option without the H sound. But it was clearly supposed to be hoption because it was supposed to be a rabbit pun. So it's supposed to make the ha 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 ha. Consonant sound, so it's supposed to be a hoption, not an hoption. A hop hoption sounds stupid. It is stupid. It's supposed to be a pun. Just like every bunny. Zero keeps making rabbit puns. Gonna do it the whole goddamn game. A lock for the door. Right now it says lock. You guys ready? I'm gonna open the door. Hoption sounds stupid, so that's all that matters, whereas a hoption sounds okay. Wait, what? I'm like looking back and forth between those words just to make sure the same spelling. Like, what? 
Go ahead. I'm all set. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. You found it! You escaped them. I did it. Now, Dab Governor. Holy shit, it's almost four hours? What's happened? Such an exciting calm, figuring that out. Who the heck's talking? Question mark? Question mark? Was that you, Luna? Did that sound like a lady's voice, man? No. Then. Alice? You honestly think a voice that coarse could come from a throat as fine as this? <laughs> then... Oh yeah, that was, uh, that was me, mate. Oi! Over here! Sigma, look! What is that? What? Oh, blimey, that hurts. Why did somebody put... That voice box in him. What is Alice's outfit? It is the ultimate challenge to stare at her eyes. Don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look down, 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 look at her eyes, look at her eyes, look at her eyes. It's the ultimate challenge. I ain't right for a fellow's back to feel like this. It's a robot. And it's talking. With an accent. Ah, can't help it, Flower. Didn't choose to talk like this. Not by half. Now, Alice, darling. Do I rightly recollect you characterizing my speech as coarse? <laughs> well, that's right, cruel it is. You really think I asked for this? See, they figured they give us all a, um, uh, what you call them, uh, personality. <laughs> Some tosser thought they'd give me this one. It ain't right, I tell you. Got it, that. Everyone's just speechless. Let's think for that in this game. See, you can admire her, uh, amazing curves. That's right. Unless that shit helps you escape a room once, no point. No, 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 they were all kidnapped and brought here. I gotta presume this is the outfit she was wearing when she got kidnapped. Now, why she was wearing this outfit wherever she was, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she was out at some crazy party, you know? Who knows? It's a mystery. So, what the hell are you? Cooper. If you're a barrel maker, I'm an astronaut. Okay. <laughs> right you are, my old son. Right you are. Well, go on. Have a butchers, mate. What do I look like to you? Robot, you say? Well, nearly there, but they call us golems round here. Hmm. Golem? Oh, I've heard of golems. They're sort of monsters, I guess, from Jewish folklore. They're made from clay, and they look like men. They're supposed to do whatever their master, or creator, or whatever commands them to do. Well, aren't you a clever bird? You are, of course, correct. The golem of myth is a clay creation that moves under its own power. Our spellings are my different, though. The original blokes are spelt G-O-L-E-M, but me and me mates are G-A-U-L-E-M. That's an acronym for General Purpose Autonomous Labor Electronic Machine. Okay. The truth to tell, it's a bit rubbish when you're writing out all like that, but I figured they wanted to make sure they had the golem thing in there, you know, what with us being robots and all. I thought they wanted to be clever. Um. So. Should I just call you Gollum? Uh, that don't seem quite kosher. 
After all, all of me mates here are golems too. I couldn't very well call all of you lot human, could I? I mean, I guess you could. Hey there, you human, you. What should we call you then? Well, we've all got a product ID, and they're unique. I figure that's as good a name as any. And your ID is? GTM-CM-G-OLM. Um, I'm gonna need an abbreviation, a nickname. Whoa! That's way too long, we can't remember that. What? You've taken the mickey out of me? I need that in English. What the heck does taking the mickey out of me mean? Never had a problem myself. Right then, let's just use the last bit, shall we? G O L M? You're Golm. Making fun of? Oh, you're making fun of me? I said, I said. Golem. Come on, man. That's just Golem. Or Golem, or Golem, or blah, 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 blah whatever. Well, I'll be buggered. Can't say I've ever noticed that before. Sure, it's a strange coincidence, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> All right, Gollum, you said Alice Darling a little bit ago, right? What? A gentleman can't say something nice to a pretty young bird, eh? <laughs> no, I don't care if you call her Darling. What I'm saying is, you called her Alice. How did you know her name? <laughs> oh, she ain't the only one of you lot whose name I know. I know who you are, Sigma, and you too, Luna. <laughs> I'm right familiar with all nine of you. How? Imagine it was input into the database. You don't know? Oh, they got cameras all over this place. Well, again, the lenses aren't much bigger than a screw. And they're all in the way. So I suppose I can't really blame you for missing them, you know? Now, as I was saying, there were these cameras, you see. And all of the data they record gets sent off to the mainframe in real time. So, I just gave the main core a ring, got those videos, and now I know everything you've done. Um. Does that mean you're Zero Junior? Cool, blimey. Are you bleeding serious? <laughs> well, you gotta be off your box if you think I'm Young Master Zero. The Young Master is a right proper AI what supervises all the electronic bits and bobs in this place. My humble self, and knows what the misfortune to be like me. I'm more akin to computer terminals who are merely borrowing a little bit of the central core. So golems are kind of like Zero Junior's servants? Uh, no, not quite, Governor, not quite. I'd say me and me mates here are more like uh, arms and legs, right? Now, you lot don't have brains in your arms and legs, do you? I mean, I don't think I do. Poke my arm right now. Is there a brain in there? I don't think so. Of course not. Right you are, missus. You'd be all sorts of nasty if your elbows and that lumpy bit on your ankle was all packed with brains. I'd all have to agree and coordinate to do basic things like walk. We're like your arms or legs. The golem seat of consciousness, so to speak, ain't in the head. Fact of the matter is, it's not anywhere in the body. Which makes a fellow wonder, where is it? In the mainframe? Spot on. So that part of me what thinks is in the mainframe. Everything this here body sees and ears and what have you, that all gets sent back there. What? Then the mainframe does some sort of computery jiggery pokery and comes up with some decisions and, and those decisions beget commands. 
Now those commands are sent over the wireless like whoop, 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 and eventually my body picks them up. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's totally how Wi-Fi works. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Finally, those commands cause actions what move the various bits in my body. That's why this thing's like a computer terminal, you see. The body's just an output device of sorts. If we were talking about one of them personal computers here, you could say a golem's kind of like a, uh, a monitor, right? Huh? Oh, wait a minute. Then wouldn't that make you part of Zero Junior? Well, I suppose you could say that. What if you're sharing a mainframe and all? <laughs> but I don't know shit all about this game he's running. That part of the mainframe is locked away from the rest of us. I'm an independent core. Uh, Zero and I are two different blokes. You recollect what Gollum stands for, huh? I'm autonomous. Hmm. But if that's the case, your hands and feet analogy doesn't really make sense. My arms and legs aren't autonomous. They don't just move on their own. Huh. You sure, Governor? I watched you cross your arms just now. Huh? And now you, you're frowning and your forehead's getting all wrinkly. Did you do these things on purpose? Well, when you crossed your arms, were you thinking, Right then, let's cross them, shall we? <laughs> Curl on down then, mouth. Oh, and eyebrows. I'd be much obliged if you'd squeeze in a bit. There's a good pair of blokes. <clears throat> That's what you was thinking, isn't it? That's right. No? <laughs> Didn't reckon so. Oh man. I figured you did all of that subconsciously. Ain't no man on earth who says to himself, feeling a mite nervous, I'll just twitch me leg around a bit, you know? Who's thinking real hard about something and says to themselves, well, I think I'll just give the old loaf a scratch, that ought to help. How's about when you reach for your tea? When you turn a page in your book? Or what about when your eyes just go straight for the pair on that bird you fancy? <laughs> what? You were supposed to look at her eyes! Not, not those! Yeah, the list goes on, me chums. But all of those things are your subconscious at work. Well, true, when part of your body does something, it's because your brain said so. But that don't mean your conscious mind is involved. <laughs> Fact is, it can't be. If your brain had to deal with all the piddly bits of living, it'd make you balmy. That's how us golems and a young master get along. You, uh, you got it all sorted now, chums? I guess. Then you're saying that Zero Junior is the central part of the mainframe, and the golems are like his hands and feet? Righto! Ugh, blimey. Uh, guess I shouldn't be talking about such heavy rubbish, eh? My shoulders are all stiff. Uh, I can think of a couple reasons why. You're a robot. How can your shoulders get stiff? And you said your back hurt earlier. Are you just messing with us? Yes, I did. And no, I ain't. Me back is a right mess, it is. Last maintenance check, they just left me here. I've been on this bed here for years. <sighs> the lubricant for me joints is all gummed up. Every time I move, it hurts. But why did you wake up again after all this time? What do you think, love? We woke you up. Because you lot turned me on, his wife. Especially that other missus over there. Oh yeah, that button on top of the safe. Right you are, governor. Can you come with us then? So does that mean if you don't turn the button on the safe? 
He doesn't turn on, but you might be forced to do it. Because I turned the button on when I was trying to interact with the safe the first time, so you might be forced to press the button. The others need to see this. Huh. No, I can't. More's a pity. I can only go as far as this cable here will let me. I've got internal batteries, but they're knackered. A matter of fact, that's why I was here for maintenance in the first place. The yeah, same goes for these other blokes, too. Of course, they ain't connected to a power cable like I am, so they aren't going anywhere anytime soon. I see. So, you aren't gonna answer my question? Huh? What question is that? I ask you how your shoulders can get stiff if you're a robot. Right, right, so you did. Not sure why you've got a bug up your arse about that particular issue, though. I mean, that's a fair point. Like, how can your back hurt and your shoulders be stiff if uh, you don't have the nerves to feel pain? Do they have simulated pain? Why, why would you build robots that simulate human pain like that? That, that just seems like a recipe for disaster to me. I thought that was one of the benefits of being a robot, you know? No pain, right? Well, I mean, I guess it's not really important, but he's curious. I'm just curious, I suppose. That's right. Curious, are you? That's a good word, that is. A good, powerful word. The kind of word that will set any robot's heart to flutter. Let's get you sorted then, shall we? Just lend me your laws and peers for a tick. So, how can a robot get stiff shoulders? And what does pain mean to a robot? Tell me, Guff, you ever heard of the Chinese room? Nope. Without waiting for an answer, Gollum launched into his explanation. Somewhere, a pretty young girl is trapped in a tiny room. The door of the room has a slot that a number of Chinese people outside the room can use to slide slips of paper to the girl. What? Ears? EARS! What about ears? What about ears? On the pieces of paper are questions written, naturally, in Chinese. Unfortunately, the young lady has no idea what the questions say. But then, how could she? Lords and peers. Ah, lords and peers. Bring your ears. Listen to my tale. <laughs> she's never learned Chinese. Apart from a Hong Kong action movie or two in college, she's never even heard it. That's true. How are you supposed to read another language if you've never seen the other language or heard it or anything? So for this unfortunate young lady, each note looks like nothing more than a bunch of strange symbols. Before she was locked away, she was given an order. Specifically, she was told to write an appropriate response to each question she received and slip that answer back through the slot. Once the Chinese questions begin to show up, however, she finds herself at a loss. I don't know, maybe one of those books on the shelf is a Chinese dictionary? Oh dear, she says to herself. Why, well, I, I can't read these at all. Whatever am I to do? It is at that moment that she spots a bookshelf. The bookshelf is filled with thick books. Upon examining them, she discovers that they are some sort of Chinese phrase books. They have no explanation of what anything means, but show Chinese responses to Chinese questions. Uh... So does she just match up the symbols with the questions and just... Am I supposed to use these? The questions keep coming. More and more and more of them. She finds the set of characters that correspond to the set of characters on the paper. 
and carefully writes out the indicated response. Uh, and before, there, there, there's trick questions in there. How's it going? It's awful. Please get me out of here. Are you hungry? Yes, I am. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. Here they give her some twice-cooked pork. Are you full? Yes, although I don't think my stomach liked it very much. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I'm dating a reggae dancer. Uh, okay. When was your first kiss? When I was 14. He was a grade ahead of me in school. What color of underwear are you wearing? I mean, she's going to write the answer for this, but she's not going to have any clue what she's writing because she doesn't know Chinese. So, so it's fine, right? This question's fine. Black. What's the first thing you're going to do when you get out of this room? Beat the stuffing out of whoever's sending me these questions with the pan you cooked that twice-cooked pork in. <laughs> okay. All of these questions were written in Chinese. And the answers were also written in Chinese. All the young lady did was accurately copy the symbols from the phrase books onto the slips of paper, with no idea what any of it meant. Incidentally, she doesn't have a dancer boyfriend. In fact, she's never even kissed a boy. Also, she's wearing white underwear. Oh, damn it. Anyway... Um... Yes? Is there any particular reason this girl is, um, pretty? Or, or why we need to know what color underwear she's wearing? Can't say there is. Just tickles me fancy, I guess. Uh-huh. But the prettier the birdies, the more fun the story is, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. What, Sigma? Can't believe you. What? What? <clears throat> right. Well, what I wanted to say was this. All them Chinese blows outside the room didn't know nothing about them books what she had. So it follows that they would have thought whoever was inside spoke Chinese just like them. You see? After all, as far as I can tell, they're having a nice little chin way with one of their countrymen. Um, okay, interesting. But what does that have to do with your shoulders? Or is a robot fe or a robot feeling pain? Good question. You thick? Yes. I feel pain when my body's having a spot of bother. Well, hold up, mate. This ain't right. We keep this up and we're buggered. If things go really pear-shaped, we'll be brown bread. So says the central computer to itself, seeing that things are a bit bollocksed. In the interest of extricating my body from this unpleasant predicament, the mainframe sends out a signal over the wireless. And my software interprets that signal as pain, and I stop doing whatever daft thing I was doing. It's the same in here. Just like the Chinese room. So you're saying the robots feel pain differently than humans, right? Use your loaf, Missy. You listen to a word I've said. A human feels pain when you do something you shouldn't, like sit your bum down on a tack, right? Same thing for us robots. If you feel like being clever about it, there ain't really that much different between a human and a robot. Forget all about that mainframe and signal box, and us golems ain't that different from the bird in the room. Oh no, the subtitles had about and all swapped. Ugh. Unplayable now. Unplayable. So think about it, love. How do you know humans ain't the same just without all the electronic y pony, huh? I mean, I guess he's got a point. 
I don't know. This is the only body I've had. I can't say I can go around swapping for a new one. I'm gonna go upgrade. Test the pain receptors. What if when someone asks you a question, all you're doing is pulling out the right answer from some sort of phrase book in your brain? <laughs> ain't no way to prove that, of course, but as far as I can see, there ain't no reason to. I mean, it's all the same, isn't it? If you're actually a thinking creature, or if you're just some kind of language processing machine, all what matters is if the person next to you does what a human ought. Looks like a person, acts like a person, and talks like a person, then it's probably a person. You want to live a normal life? That's all you need to know. Hey, can I ask you something? Lay it on me, Captain. Why do you stop us? Ah, right you are, mate. Right you are. Got so carried away, I near forgot. I haven't seen anyone for yonks, and I got a mighty excited as all. Ugh, just spit it out. She's so impatient. Right, right. Well. Uh, there was something I wanted to tell you, Lot. What was it? Patience, darling. Now, I know I might look a bit out of sorts at the moment, but I ain't really supposed to. Same thing for the rest of the blokes here. Fact is, the reason we look a bit like skeletons is because we are a bit like skeletons. It is this special artificial biological tissue, what's called ABT. When a golem's all new and shiny, they've got a nice suit of ABT over that metal skeleton. Makes us look right human, it does. Even feels like real skin, with pores, a little bit of hair, and a few pimples, scars, and the like. <laughs> Truth to tell, I doubt you'd be able to tell the real from the fake, even if it was right in front of you. See, right in the middle of... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. He talked too much. He talked too much. They're gonna shut him up now. Shame to switch to honors for last hour. Let me see that glorious racing talent. What? If you want to see that glorious racing talent, you'll have to check it out tomorrow. I'm not gonna switch to on rush for the last hour. Prophetize. They're synths. Yes, they are. Rogue processes detected. Product ID G T M C M G O L M. Executing emergency deactivation. Rip. Unit G T M C M. G O L M now inactive. No other rogue processes detected in additional Gollum platforms. Returning to surveillance mode. Rip. Zero was like, you need to shut the fuck up now. Hmm. <sighs> I replaced up with subtitles for the wrong way around. They were. Two of the words were the wrong way around. It was terrible. Almost as bad as Street Foot. Did, did Zero just shut him down? It looks like it. Damn it. wonder what he was trying to tell us. See, right in the middle of... Right in the middle of what? An ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until ambidex game polling closes. 
What the hell? Someone on the other team must have opened it. Shit. Why would they do that? We have to hurry. Right, let's go. I take the elevator and go all the way back. Time to get back, it'll be like five minutes, right? We pushed through the magenta door and ran into the warehouse. There stood Phi, Dio, and Kay. Hey! What the hell, guys? Why did you open the AB gate before everyone got back? I apologize. We only turned away for a moment. Dio opened it. <laughs> you got a problem with that? Maybe. Of course we do. Why? I don't remember us all promising we wouldn't open the thing until everyone showed up. This isn't about promises. Are you stupid or just an asshole? Are you sure? Maybe he's both. Probably both. Huh? That's right. Do you have the sweet stand stands with him? Or stand? No! No, no fancy stand. What's the wrong deal you're thinking of? We were able to get back here in time. But what about the others? Tenmyoji, Quark, and Clover are still out there somewhere. Yeah, what if they haven't solved the uh, their puzzle yet? And they don't have enough time to get back to the room. Run out of time. That means they don't get to vote this round. What were you planning to do if they didn't get back in time? He didn't plan for that. He doesn't give a shit. Nothing. Why would I have to do anything? Didn't you hear the voice? Anybody who doesn't get back in time to vote just gets their vote automatically set to ally. Seems pretty straightforward to me. Unless somebody chooses to betray Ted Mioji and kill gets him killed. So what if they don't get back in time? They'll all get set to ally and all three of them will get two BP. I guess that's true. But, but, what if one of them does get back in time? Sounds like a sweet deal to me. Tenmyoji's only got one BP. I figure he'll be pretty happy to get two more. And that'll put Quark and Clover up close to nine. So that's not too bad for them either. In other words, they ought to be thanking me. Um, didn't you guys find a note? What? What's this? We found it in our safe. Read it. Here are some more AB game rules for you. Not voting is not an option. If both parties refuse to vote, then every bunny gets penalized. In other words, one person out of every color group of three has to vote. The hell, man? This wasn't in our room. Back me up here, guys. He's right. There was no such note in our safe. Oh, well, damn. That's a bummer. I'd never have opened the gate if I'd known about this. Mm-hmm. I don't believe you. 
still the killer? I know it. Oh, I think he is anyway. What? He's probably not the killer. He's probably just an asshole. He's the one that makes you be like, wow, is he the killer? Rah. Really? Of course. I don't believe you either. Still don't believe you. I'm worried about the others. If time runs out, they'll They'll be penalized, yes. They'll die, you mean? I know. Quark is part of that team. Maybe something happened with him. He seemed a little off before we headed into the chromatic doors. This is bad. Hey. Wait a minute. Where is Alice? She was here just a minute ago. It took me only a moment to spot her. She was several yards away and kneeling down to look at something on the floor. What she was looking at, I couldn't tell. I was about to head over and see what was going on when... We were like, what the hell? We had to run all the way back. <sighs> oh, hey guys. Quark. Has Quark been here? Oh, did he run away? Did something happen to him? He disappeared. Disappeared? What do you mean? I mean, he's gone. We can't find him anywhere. When was the last time you saw him? We were heading back here. Tenmyoji and I went into the lounge, but Quark didn't follow us. We turned around and started calling for him, but... When he didn't respond, we ran back the way we'd come. And you couldn't find him? Right. I mean, he's around here somewhere. I can't exactly leave the facility, so... We thought maybe he just hadn't seen us go into the lounge. So we checked the crew quarters and the infirmary. But he wasn't there either. You gotta be here somewhere. All right. We need to split up. If we can't find him in any of the floor A rooms, we'll move to floor B. Okay. Do we have the time for that, though? Don't we have to vote? Need to go tell Alice. You guys go on ahead. Right, you do that. The robot somehow looked the most astonished by what that cork dude missing with the hands on his face. Yeah, now, right? He somehow see, seems more expressive even though he's a robot. Although he doesn't know he's a robot yet, and he's not officially a robot yet. Right now, they think he's a dude in a suit. I still, I still think he's a robot though. And he conveniently has amnesia, so he doesn't remember what he is. Or who he is. Very convenient. Going into the crew quarters! Do we have the time to be doing this looking around? Hey! Quark! Quark! Hmm, you know, I just thought of something. I have not saved my game at all today. If the power goes out right now, I have to redo everything. <laughs> He's not here. <laughs> Sa it's gonna save my game. I haven't saved my game. I haven't saved my game at all today. <laughs> okay, okay, we're good. We're good. 
We're saved. Whew. We're safe now. I checked both rooms. He's not in the other two either. There's no one here. Ten Miyoji and Kay are in the lounge, and Dio and Luna should be checking the infirmary. Right. Okay, let's leave that to them and head to floor B. Okay, it's wearing red, and do you know what they say about red? Don't you, streamer? Red be lying, right? Powerful pog. Lion, aha! I like how we have the time to search the whole facility. You went through the red door with D O and K, right? Yeah. So. What was on the other side of that door? You want to see it? Yeah. Maybe Quark went there. Fine. Follow me. Red makes you hungry. That's true. That's why a lot of food stuff is colored red. That's why a lot of restaurants have red. You look at it and you go like, I'm hungry now. What the fuck's this room? This is... The pantry. Pantry? That drawer over there is stuffed with processed food. Wasn't half bad, actually. You ate it? Yeah. I mean, you're human. You gotta eat, right? It was some paella, nasi goreng, schnitzel, yukejang, borscht, and tom kha gai. I have no idea what most of that is. Oh, and I ate the chef's pasta, too. That's a lot of food. Can't help it. I'm a growing girl. <clears throat> How old are you? 20, I think. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just, just stop. I don't even know where to start here. One. By the time you hit 20, you're done growing. Two. You think? You should be old enough to know how old you are. Three. How on earth are you 20? You look like you're 13 if you're a day. What? She don't look like no 13 year old I've seen. I would have I would have guessed her at like 16 or 17 or something, maybe 18. I can't believe you're only two years younger than me. <laughs> now that's funny. You must have done a lot of drugs to look like that at 22. Wow. She, she's attacking me right now. Can't believe this. It may remind you that I detected Amelie in Death Stranding being am a lie. Anything, everything you read is lying. I know it. That's right. Borscht is East European soup and it's red. Yeah. Uh, so, so why'd she eat it? If she ate red soup, that means she's lying, right? Right, 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 right. Oh, give me a break, you little punk. Don't call me little. You can't really tell because of the way the sprites are in this game or stuff or something, but I guess she's probably short. I'm an adult, you dried up asshole. Oh, you're short. No wonder I thought you were a kid. Yeah. Fine. Whatever. So this place has enough food to keep people alive for a few years, huh? Looks like this stuff isn't going to expire anytime soon. Yeah, the use-by date is about a hundred years from now. Wow, really? How about water? There's a tank over there. It looks like they're pulling it out of some kind of well. Is it safe? 
Well, since Dio isn't rolling around on the floor in agonizing pain, I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's okay. You made him drink it to make sure it was safe? I guess you could say that. <clears throat> so you ate all the food without a second thought, but the water struck you as possibly dangerous? No, I was careful with the food too. Dio had some of it first and it seemed fine, so I... Oh, I almost forgot. What? I ate something else. Twice cooked pork. Oh no! Oh, for God's sake. Why the hell are you shouting about that? Wait a minute. Twice cooked pork? What is it? This thing the robot mentioned. Well, that just reminded me of something. Reminded you of what? I like how we're having this conversation when we're supposed to be looking for a kid and we have a time limit to get back and vote. This might seem hard to believe at... Bullshit. Oh, come on. At least let me tell you first. All right. She could just... No, could just walk over and show her the robot. I explained how we'd found a room called the Gollum Bay on the other side of the green door and how we'd met a robot there named Gollum who told a very interesting story. I see. So the Gollum guy was turned off just when he was about to tell you something. Yeah. So the last thing he said was, see you right in the middle of... Yeah. Right in the middle. Middle could be for Middle Kingdom, which is another name for China. Well, this was utterly pointless. Really? I don't think so. Please, explain. Well, maybe he was trying to say that this game is like the Chinese room. Well, I wouldn't trust a face like that. Yeah, me neither! Look at that face. Untrustworthy. They're throwing us off by her eyes not being red, so she, we can't say she's lying, right? <laughs> In other words... Sigma! Fi! There you are! I've been looking all over for you! What's going on? Something bad. Something really bad. Well, come on. Spell it. Alice. Alice is... She's what? She's what? Alive? Dead? What? Just come with me. She's in the crew quarters. It's one crisis after another. First we're looking for a kid. Now we gotta check out what's happening with Alice. Her contacts, it's a wig. Oh, no! Uh-oh. Uh She's looking awfully dead there. Oh, no. Her bracelet came off. She's very dead. Rest in peace to those beautiful round um eyes of hers. Rest in peace, Alice. You don't live on this route. I picked the wrong route for her to live. What? No. This isn't real. All I could hear were Zero's words echoing in my ears. Your heart stops, your bracelet comes off. If you've never been in turbulence, it's hard to explain. You feel the sudden alien weightlessness weightlessness of a long fall. And for just a moment, you're painfully aware of the fact that you are thousands of feet above the earth in a flimsy machine made by fallible men, kept aloft by a scientific principle that nobody actually understands. 
If you've never seen a friend dead, it's hard to explain. But it's a little like that. I knelt down beside Alice's body and pressed a shaking hand to her throat. No pulse. Her skin had already turned pale. The thing in front of me looked like a human being, but it wasn't being a human any longer. Why had this happened? I knelt there for several long moments, staring blankly ahead. Wait, wait, wait! Who was the last person to talk to her? She was next to the AB room checking something out. Whatever whatever she checked out killed her, or... or wasn't it Clover who was going to go get her? Clover's the murderer! And that's even the same room. The, the room they found the old lady in was the room that Kay and Clover went. What if it's not Kay we should suspect, but Clover instead? And they make us not suspect her just because she's a pretty lady. And a pretty lady could never be a serial killer or something, right? <gasps> who knows? Who knows? Who knows? My throat burned and my chest was tight. But I forced myself to take three progressively calmer breaths. Then stood. I clenched my fist. Took one last breath. And turned. Who found her first? Me. I was looking for Quark on floor B and couldn't find him. So I came back here and... Well, you know the rest. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? I mean, we already don't like you, man. That means you're the killer, right? You better not be thinking I did it. Well, suspicion often falls on the first to discover a crime. No, 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 no. Fuck that. She'd already been murdered when I got here. How do you know she was murdered? I mean, do you think she... Oh, I guess she could have stabbed herself. But do you see a weapon? What? Come on, it's obvious. She's got a knife sticking out of her chest. Oh, I can't see it from this angle. Actually, yeah, I can. I didn't notice the knife being there before. Because it's practically the same color as her hair. Enhance my Vita. Get my magnifying glass out. That's true. I guess if the knife is there, she technically could have stabbed herself. But what reason would she have to do so? Does that look like an accident or a suicide to you? How do you know the weapon was a knife? I mean, because it looks like one? What? All you can see from here is the handle. How many stabby weapons do they have that's not a knife? For all you know, it could have been an ice pick or some kind of tool. I mean, I would presume a knife first before an ice pick, but you know. Well, well yeah, I guess that's true, but... but... I mean, come on! Who wouldn't look at that and assume it's a knife? I know, right? I would. And it's not fair to suspect someone just because they happen to be the first one to find the body. If you want to be like that, then the last person to see Alice is the person you should be looking at. Who was the last person to see her? I need to go tell Alice. You guys go on ahead. Why? This wasn't supposed to happen. You promised me we'd catch them together. Don't do this. <laughs> Clover. I can't trust them anymore. It could have been any one of them. They killed you, Alice. I can't forgive them for that. I'm going to get revenge. Uh-oh. That's dangerous talk. I'll find out who killed you. And I'll... I'll... Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, Clover. Shut up! Don't you talk to me! I'm sorry, Alice. Her voice shook as she spoke. Before anyone could say anything, she turned and ran out of the room. 
Wait! Clover, come back! Ten Miyoji took off in pursuit, and I made to follow when... It's pointless. Even if you caught up to her, she'd never tell you anything. What's the mark? Think it through. There are two possibilities. Either Clover killed her, or she didn't. If the former is true, then I doubt she would confess. If the latter is true, then I imagine she'll be just as reticent. After all, Alice and Clover seem to know each other. In fact, they seem quite close. It seems safe to assume that Clover is currently very suspicious of all of us. I doubt she would open up to anyone right now. You seem pretty calm. Did you do it? Not again. <laughs> well, if you really want to suspect me, please go ahead. I'm beginning to feel rather accustomed to it. <laughs> I would ask you to consider my motive for killing Alice. Specifically, the fact that I have none. Well, yes, but none of us do. None of us have ever met Alice before, right? So why would we want to kill her? You are correct. But only if the murder had a motive beyond, well, murder. <laughs> What do you mean? Do you remember when we found the old woman? It seemed clear that her killer was Zero Senior, and that they were one of us. There is every reason to think the same person murdered Alice. Perhaps this person plans to kill us one by one. Perhaps the entire nonary game is just window dressing. Perhaps the only reason we are here is so that Zero Senior can kill us at his leisure. In a world of his own creation. Why would anyone do such a horrible thing? Presumably, because they enjoy killing. Zero Senior seems to be rather disturbed. I know, right? Would you like to play a game? <laughs> Hold on a minute. That doesn't mean they're one of us. There could be a tenth person hiding out somewhere. No. Well, why not? There's no way Zero Junior wouldn't notice that. And if he did notice? I really don't think he'd just let something like that slide. But isn't Zero Junior just an AI without a body? What could he do? Maybe. But Zero Senior has a body. You think they'd really just let a tenth unwanted participant just run around murdering people? Well, what if the tenth person is Zero Senior? Not possible. At least not so long as we assume Zero Junior's statement to be the truth. Do you remember? No. He made it quite clear that the real Zero was one of us. True, I guess. Unless he was just trying to mislead us. I thought about what Kay had said. If the killer was Zero Senior, then who could be the killer? Dio? I like how Dio's the first one he thinks of. That's right! Luna? What? That's the second one you think of? I can't believe that she's the second one you think of. Unless you're implying her innocent act is just an act. Oh my god. Okay, perhaps? Or maybe Clover? There was always ten Miyoji. Fi, maybe? No, it couldn't be her. I had been with Fi the whole time we were looking for Quark. There was no way she could have slipped away to stab Alice in the chest. Wait a minute. There was one person I'd forgotten. Quark. It seemed like a bit of a stretch to think a kid could kill someone of Alice's size, though. I mean, 
I don't think you need to be a large person to stab somebody in the chest. You might have to reach up a bit to aim, but still. Well, you, you could just ask her, Hey, I dropped my pen. Can you pick it up for me? Oh, okay, sure. Stab, 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 stab. I'm th sure he could do it if he wanted to. That meant there were five real suspects. Dio, Luna, K, Clover, and Tenmyoji. Uh, I do not like the fact you're dismissing Quark, honestly. I mean, I know he's a kid, but... Uh, how, how do we know he's got all his screws screwed in? I mean, he was having like a mental breakdown before we began the second test. I don't personally think it's going to be him, though, but... I think I don't think you should dismiss him. But still. Still. Hmm. Where had Quark gone? Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Ten minutes! All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Apparently Zero doesn't feel like this is worth stopping the game for. A blunt but effective way to make the point. What do you mean? We should get to the warehouse. It seems clear he feels no compunction about killing us. Should we disobey the rules? As such, I recommend we follow them. The others filed out of the room. I turned to face Alice. Alice. I'll find out who did this to you. I promise. I felt my stomach settle back into its normal configuration, and the fire in my chest melted the icy hand from my spine. I stood up straight, gave Alice one last nod, and walked after the others, leaving my regrets lying on the cold floor. Da. Hey, look. Two of the AB gates are closed already. That means they've already voted. Probably ten Miyoji and Clover. Yeah, or they're in there. Yeah, they're voted. Or they're in there. Who knows? Wasn't he a pair? Doesn't Quark need to go with him? I can probably vote for him. As long as one person in each pair is there, it should be okay. Sharing their destiny, huh? Pretty much. That's good news for you, Sigma. After all, you're a pair, but your partner is... Yep. Well, I'd rather not say it. Yeah. I know. Good luck for you, huh, Luna? What? I don't understand what you mean. Well, if Alice was still alive, you'd have a hard time choosing Betray. She only had one BP left. Hmm, hmm, hmm. If you'd picked Betray, you could have killed her. Of course, that's not really a problem now. Hmm. Stop that, Dio. I would have chosen an ally regardless. I mean, Sigma's going to be my opponent. Hi. What's up, cat? And I, I trust him. Ah, oh, she trusts me. Really? All of that, that, that. Ha ha. This is interesting. One of you guys picks Betray, we are gonna get a show. 
Dio! Ignore him. How do you and Fi plan to vote? You even got to ask? Ally. Of course. Nah, he's gonna pick Betray. Right, Fi? I don't know about that. It's a difficult question. What? Well, if we choose Ally and Kay chooses the opposite, then he'll have nine points. He can go through the number nine door whenever he wants. But it's not as simple as just choosing Betray either. If Kay decides to ally for some reason, then you'd end up with nine points. So we should both choose ally. Seems easy to me. You're planning on betraying me, aren't you, Dio? As soon as you go through that door, it will be only the two of you in that room. I've no doubt you could overpower Fi, if you had the desire to. Oh, give me a little credit. No one has more gentle points than me. You think someone of my stature would resort to violence? <laughs> the nerve. More gentle points? What? 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 What the fuck does that even mean? Sure, I'm a gentleman. After all, I've got a top hat. I would never beat somebody up or kill nobody. I'm a gentleman. I got gentle points. <laughs> What? This is just a thought, but why don't all of you promise to choose Betray? You gonna sneeze, kitty? Then you wouldn't have to worry about anything. If you knew the other person was going to betray you, you'd have no choice but to do the same. That seems pretty negative for you, Luna. I mean, you could promise you're gonna pick Betray, that doesn't mean you're gonna keep your promise, though. I'm sorry. Nothing to apologize for. We appreciate your suggestion and we'll take it into consideration. But unfortunately, I don't think it's a very good idea. See, my goal is to beat this game. But Fi... Maybe that wasn't the best way to put it. When I say I want to beat it, I mean defeat it. Completely. I want to get us all out of here. We haven't beat the Nonary game until we're all out of this place. I guess we won't all be getting out anymore, though. Oh, you mean Alice. Yeah. At any rate, all of us choosing Betray every time is hardly ideal. <laughs> We'd never escape. Don't worry. If, if there's a route where everybody can live, I'll find it. Eventually. That, that's not this route, though. If one exists. Then what are you going to do? Hmm. Kay needs to choose ally. It's the only way. How will you make sure I do that? I have no guarantee that she'll choose ally as well. Would you do it if I could give you that guarantee? Well... Yes, I suppose so. You promise? Yes. Good. Let's do this. Dio! Huh? There's someone behind you. What? <laughs> She's gonna run into the room and close it while he's looking. The moment Dio turned his head, Fi was off. With seemingly superhuman strength, she leapt through the air, across the room, and through the A-B gate. What the fuck? <laughs> you have been bamboozled, sir. You bitch! God damn it, Fi! Open this fucking door! No. He pounded on the door, screaming, but it showed no signs of opening again. Fuck! He gave the door one last slam for good measure, then ran to the next open one. Invalid pair detected. Please retry with valid partner. 
Members of a pair cannot vote in separate rooms. Lol. What? Why the fuck not? But is it for for this situation. I mean, if uh, two members of a pair voted differently, then uh, you'd have a bit of a problem, wouldn't you? Because the vote's supposed to represent the pair of people. Can't have two votes. This is against the rules. How am I supposed to vote? How dare the announcer not say anything? This is bullshit. I see. This is how Fi can guarantee her choice. Theo can't vote now, so the chance that Fi will choose Ally just went way up. After all, if you pick Ally and she betrays you, then... Dio will have nine points. Exactly. But don't you think Fi might be worried that Kay will break his promise? After all, if he can be pretty sure that Fi is going to choose Ally... You needn't worry. Her plan is very clever. I will definitely choose Ally. Two minutes remain until polling closes. We don't have much time left. Let's go. Right. Okay. Um, Sigma? Hmm? You are going to choose Ally, right? Of course. We both have 5 BP right now. Even if I did betray you, I'd only get 3 points. That's not enough to escape. So I'd have to wait until the next round anyway. Make sense? Oh, I see. I'm not gonna kick you while you're down. Although I probably could. I'm sure it'll give me the option to be like, betray, step, 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 step. I wouldn't do that, though. Huh? Oh, nothing. Never mind. Hmm. She might betray me to get A points, though, but she still needs to do a third game, too, you know. Anyway, you promised. You have to choose Ally. I have the sinking suspicion she's going to choose to betray me. Right. I will. But, you know. We all still have to do another game anyway. The Ambidex game will now begin. Run your vote. Please touch the start button on your screen. Once you have entered your vote, the door will lock automatically. will not open again until the polling period is finished. I see, I've seen this text before. Speedrun text. Time to vote and probably get betrayed. Remain until polling closes. But he's, it makes sense. I see no reason to choose Betray, so it's, it's gonna be Ally again. We'll find out if she betrays me! Now... What am I going to do? Well, I guess there isn't really any question. After all, I promised Luna that I'd pick Ally. But... What if she was lying to me? I would have chosen Ally regardless. I mean... Sigma's going to be my opponent. And I... I trust him. Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Why does everybody always wait till the last goddamn seconds before they do anything? Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. The game doesn't have to be an action movie. I'll, I'll, I'll ally again. Maybe we get stabbed in the back. Vote oh, has been recorded. Please wait. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. We'll, we'll probably just ally the whole game and see what happens when we ally the whole game. <laughs> Results will be displayed in the warehouse.
Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. I'm going to She's still allied with me. <laughs> Just ally. Hmm. Quark has nine points now, but Quark's MIA. So where the fuck is he? Where the fuck is he? Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Thank you, Sigma. <laughs> no need to thank me. I just did what I promised I'd do. Anyway, thank you too. It was nothing. I also just did what I promised to do. Now we both have seven BP. This is the home stretch. Yes, it is. I hope we'll get to pair up in the next round too. Because I'll choose ally? Yeah, you're an opponent I can trust. If we were partners, you could pick whatever you wanted then, couldn't you? I mean, you'd get nine points either way. Whoa, hold on there. Why would I suddenly choose Betray? I've already chosen Ally twice. You're right. So let's choose Ally and get the hell out of here together. Sounds good? Yes, it sounds good. Sorry for that little black cat. Everybody has to give the gray cat their attention. To get her to shut up for five seconds. I'm like, okay, if I pet you, you'll be quiet, right? Pet, 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 pet. Okay. So all, what you need to do is you need to figure out how to pet the cat in your sleep so you can sleep and pet the cat at the same time. And everybody's happy. You just gotta figure that out somehow. Like, this is their load watching. What? Bring her over. You got two hands. Pet each one. I try to go after her though. Oh, super cute. Come on. Why do you look so sad? Well, it's just there's a part of me that just can't feel genuinely happy about that. Oh, you mean Alice? Oh, yes. They still haven't found Quark either, huh? That too. Still, Quark's BP is 9 now. Technically, he's 1. Why did you do that? Why did you tell me all that stuff for? Were you just lying? No. Everything I told you was the truth. You have to trust me. I did! Look where it got me! How could you do that? You're such a jerk! How could I betray you after that? And then you... you... I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you zero? What? No, of course I'm not zero. Then how could you know all that? Where did you find out about that stuff? 
I told you, I... Don't lie to me! I'm not lying. Forget it. It was stupid to trust you. I mean, there's no way. Clover, this isn't about me. I... I made a mistake. I got someone involved on all this when I shouldn't have. I would like to know what these people are talking about. I... You mean Quark? Yeah. You did this to get Quark's BP up to nine? Yes. But you've only got four points. I'm not important. The only thing that matters is that Quark gets out of this nightmare. going isn't it obvious I'm going to look for quark hey wait ten Miyoji didn't respond just turned and walked off toward the magenta door Clover started to follow and pulled up short oh. she spun on her heel and headed off toward the cyan door instead Doesn't like being petted to the gray around. What hmm. just happened? Does she get a little jealous? <laughs> Did you learn any more of the lovely lady with the lovely boob eyes? Uh, I learned she was she's dead now. We learned she's dead now. It's so sad. <laughs> I picked the wrong route for her to live. If there's a route where everybody lives, there probably is. I have to pick the right routes. How dare I not use my psychic abilities to pick the correct route the first time? So sad. Well, we don't know who killed her yet. Clover was the last one who was with her, though, so I'm, I'm suspicious of Clover. Not sure she's jealous. Think maybe she's just shy then? Or where she'll butt in? Oh, okay. Giving her space. I thought Clover had said she didn't trust any of us anymore. Yeah, I know. But then she chooses ally. Then Miyoji must have said something to her before the last round started. But what? I'd like to know that too. Come to think of it, didn't you choose ally too? Yes, I did. Phi put herself in a situation where choosing betray would be unwise. If she had chosen betray, Dio would have 9 BP now. I concluded that her desire to avoid that outcome would be stronger than her desire to protect herself with Betray. And so, I voted accordingly. That was her guarantee? Yes. Then why didn't you choose Betray? You could be walking out of here with 9 points right now. It's because you promised, right? <laughs> Uh, if he was human, he'd be blushing right now, huh? 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 Yes, that too, I suppose. There was another reason. Yes. What was it? It's difficult to explain. I suppose you could say I felt a connection. What do you mean by that? Well, when we were investigating the pantry together. I felt that Phi was somehow similar to me. Something in me said, don't betray her. You could call it intuition, I suppose. Cut it out. Gut feelings are bullshit. <laughs> Phi. Besides, you don't get to have a connection with me unless I give you permission. And I don't remember doing that. Hmm. You're acting like we're pals or something. Kinda skeeves me out, to be honest. What the hell, man? He did you a favor and now you're gonna give him shit for it? <laughs> you chose Ally too. Didn't you do that because you trusted him? Not exactly. 
I just made him trust me. When we were in the pantry, I stuffed my face like an idiot. That got him to lower his guard. What? Did you really think that would be enough to convince him? I mean, if you were wrong, then he could have escaped and left you behind. What are you getting at? Well... I'm just thinking that maybe you felt some kind of connection to him, too. Oh, come on. How am I supposed to feel a connection for a guy whose face I haven't even seen? You tell me. Shut up. <laughs> you can't play with the black without the gray one to get involved. Oh, she wants all the attention, huh? She'll be like, are you paying attention to someone other than me? I can't have that. I can't have that. Um, if we could uh, change the subject, where did Dio go? He probably got pissy and went to go uh, stuff his face in the pantry. Yeah, that's a good question. He must have been here for the results. Oh, I saw him leave. He checked the results and then left through the yellow door. So where did he go? Suddenly, the warehouse was filled with the groan and clang of metal doors grinding shut. The Ambidex gates have closed. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star keys are required to open the gates. There is no set limit on usage of the star keys. The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. As many times as we want, huh? And that means... As long as you have the star keys, you can play the AB game as many times as you want. You probably won't be allowed to play it continuously, however. There's a period of time between when the doors open and when the polling ends. Based off the last two rounds, I think it's about 45 minutes long. So you can repeat the game once every 45 minutes or so. Oh, that's right. What? Remember what Zero Jr. said? As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically! A parent solo assignment to hop around a bit too! Oh yeah. What are your bracelets, guys? Looks like I'm... A magenta pair. Me too. Looks like we're pairing up again. Better than getting stuck with Dio, I guess. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I'm a yellow pair. What about you, Luna? I'm a solo, but I'm green. Wait. Green? Yes. Hold on a minute. Weren't the colors for the first game red, green, and blue? And we use those colors to open the magenta, yellow, and cyan doors, right? Yes, that's right. In the next round, we had magenta, yellow, and cyan bracelets. And opened the red, green, and blue doors, right? Yes. But this time, we've got magenta and yellow pairs, but also a green solo. What color doors are we supposed to open? And where are they? Nobody knows. Yeah, Black has been coming upstairs to me at night since the gray started getting fussy. 
Fox like, whoa, I'm staying away from that. I'm gonna go hide downstairs. Well, we need to check the other bracelets before we make any decisions. That means Dio, Tenmyoji, and Clover. And Quark. We'll need to check Alice's bracelet too. Anyone could just pick it up now. I will try and find the remaining people and their bracelets. Quark will be my first priority. I'll come with you. Very well. I'll go check on Alice's bracelet then. And don't forget to, um, retrieve it. We'll likely need it to get through the chromatic doors. Right. Sigma, can you come with me? What? Uh, okay. Let's go. The voice actress of Zero voices Amy Rose in Sonic. What? I knew Amy Rose was really, actually, a villain. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. Not only does she voice a cheating bitch in Team Sonic Racing, she voices a character named after a red flower and one that wears a red dress. Oh no! So much red! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So much lion. I'm going to have to see her again. I feel sick just thinking about it. Shouldn't we decide on a time to meet up? Just in case? Let's see. When do the doors open? We've still got quite a while. An hour and 21 minutes. Then let's take half of that. What do you say we all meet back here in 40 minutes? Sounds good. Kay and Luna step through the magenta door and out of the warehouse. Hey, you don't, uh, you don't think Kay's the killer, do you? Maybe. Maybe? But if he is, then Luna's in danger. Maybe. Damn it, bye! You're not one to talk. I didn't see you stopping her. Well, yeah, but... I just had this gut feeling that I could trust him. A gut feeling, huh? Sure you're not the one who's feeling a connection to our armored friend? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, all that plating is pretty flattering to his figure. <laughs> okay. Ah, look at that armor. <laughs> That's not it. Are you sure? Yeah. Have you considered that it might be Luna? No, that's not possible. Why not? Because Luna didn't need a knife to kill Alice. When we played the last round, Alice's BP was one. Luna was playing against the two of us. All she would have had to do is convince us to vote ally, and she could have killed Alice easily. She would have just had to pick Betray. Exactly. But if she'd done that, do you really think the rest of us would have let her get away with it? We'd probably have tied her up or locked her away or something. Besides, there's no way in hell Alice would have chosen ally. The only way to get an ally vote from your pair would have been to physically overpower Alice. Or trick her like I did with Dio. So, what? You're saying Luna's the killer? No, I'm not. I'm just saying the possibility exists. Even if she was, I don't think we'd need to worry about Kay's safety. He's got a full suit of armor. I'm betting he's pretty hard to kill with all that on. Alright, I think that's enough of that. Let's go check Alice's bracelet. I bet it's already been stolen by somebody. Holy shit, it's 121. When that happened? How does 
this keep happening? Clover. Wait, are we on team with Luna and Alice? We were. We were in the last round. We were teamed up with Luna and Alice. Now we're teamed up with Phi and then whoever we pick for our third party member. Can't be paired up with Alice no more. <laughs> hey, hey, come on, don't run away. Run away? Well, it sure looked like you were trying to get away from me or from us. I wasn't running away, though. I just don't want to talk to you. Isn't that pretty much the same thing? Look, running away isn't going to do you any good. Don't you want to find out who killed Alice? Well, you're not going to be able to figure that out unless you talk to people. I don't need to. I thought you were either Alice or Luda. I'm stupid. Nah, you're okay. Uh, we're playing the character named Sigma. So we're Sigma. We're a macho manly man named Sigma. Why not? Luna was the uh, l lady with the, like the purple dress or whatever. And Alice was the one with the very noticeable round uh, eyes of hers. Yes, yes, yes. We d our Sigma doesn't get a sprite, so or, or, or a 3D model or whatever. Everybody else does, but we don't. We're not special enough to get our own model. Can't believe this. I already figured out who did it. See, it just says Sigma. We don't get like a sprite, uh, 3D model, a picture, or whatever. Just has her name up there. And he doesn't get any voice acting either, so... Guess who does it for him? <laughs> who was it? I can't tell you. Why not? You might be working with them. Both of you could be in on it. Oh, come on. Of course we're not. Forget about it. There's no point. Doesn't matter what you tell her, she's never going to believe you. Just tell us one thing, Clover. How did you know who it was? I noticed something. And what was that? Alice figured it out, too. Before she... What was it? If you figured it out and you're not zero, you're in danger of dying, Clover. What if you just have mirror tape to your face? What? I mean, I guess that's possible. Why don't you figure that out yourselves? God damn it. Don't make me use my brain. Anyway, I gotta go. Really with all the good voice acting? Yeah, it's my job. To do Sigma's voice. There's much so manly deep voice for him. Hey, wait, Clover. Well, there she goes. Uh, shit. What's wrong? Let me guess. Somebody stole Alice's bracelet. I forgot to ask Clover what color her bracelet is now. Oh, really? That's it? Calm down. She's a cyan pear. Oh, you looked at it, huh? You saw it? Yeah. Snuck a peek at it when she ran by. And it looks like Alice's is a blue solo. <laughs> Wait, but that would mean whoever she's paired up with uh, is going to automatically choose ally. So the team that she she would have been with would have cho would know that she would choose ally because she's not gonna vote because she's busy being dead. Nobody stole the bracelet though. That surprises me. I need to pick it up. She reached down and casually picked Alice's bracelet up off the floor. I'll hold on to this. Yeah, good idea. I wonder what it was that Clover noticed. You mean what Alice noticed? Were you even listening? 
Fine. What did Alice notice? Fi didn't answer. Instead, she knelt down and began to examine Alice's body. What are you doing? I'm investigating. What are you investigating? What does it look like I'm investigating? I'm looking for any clues to what she figured out before she died. Huh. Found something already. Have a look. Fi held something out. It was a handkerchief stained reddish brown. Is that... blood? Looks like it. It's darker than Alice's, so it's probably been on her since before she died. What? Powerful stare! Powerful stare to you too! <laughs> if it's not hers, whose blood is it? The old lady? Maybe. Do you think Alice killed her? Who knows? She could have just found this somewhere for all we know. Hmm. And do you think she figured something out from this handkerchief? Can't say for sure, but it's definitely a possibility. So, time we moved on. We need to figure out what Tenmyoji and Dia's bracelets have changed to. And we need to find Quark. Yeah. Let's take the blue door, then. We should be able to get to the room Tenmyoji, Quark, and Clover went to that way. Sounds good. You're just a morning person now, though. But... You're a morning person now, don't you know? It's morning for you. You're bright and awake and very alert right now, right? Mm hmm. Morning person. That's you. So this is a good time for you. You're 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 bright and bushy tailed. Powerful ties. Hope you've been getting lots of good sleep recently. Should be well rested now. Not real. What? Can't believe this. It says, Rec Room. This is the only door that's unlocked. Yeah. So this is where Ten Miyoji's team went. I'm going to open it. All right. How many times do I have to tell you? You don't need to keep asking permission. Okay, okay. Oh. Hmm, is this a good time to go to sleep, maybe? How would I be well rested? Well, this is like a fun and games room. Ten Miyoji. I'm guessing from your face that Quark is still missing. No sign of him, huh? Happy. What? I'm asking if you're happy Quark's still missing. M no, of course not. Why would I be? And then does it hurt? Huh? Are you so terrified about whether or not he's safe that it feels like someone's got your chest in a vice? Nah, I would say just mildly concerned is my, my amount of worry about him. That would be about it. I didn't personally know him like Ten Miyoji did, though. Ten Miyoji and him knew each other before the game, so you know. I could understand why he'd be more concerned. Really, why would I be well rested? Cause you haven't, uh, as far as I know, you haven't been lurking or anything. So you should, you should, unless you're watching somebody else or staying up all night anyway, you should be going to bed earlier and getting your rest. 
should be a sensible person with civilized times. <laughs> I didn't think so. Quark's got nine BP. If I find him first, I might make him escape. So it's better for you if I haven't found him yet. Am I wrong? Ten Miyoji. What's going on here? This doesn't sound like you. I know you're worried about Quark, but... And just what the hell do you know? He's all I've got left. If something happens to him, I'll... Well... Ten Miyoji. It's all my fault. It wasn't supposed to be like this. It... Well, it wasn't supposed to be like this. I never should have brought him here. You brought him here? Did you say brought? Yes. Zero made me an offer. What? But wait a minute. I thought you said you and Cork were abducted like the rest of us. You mean you came here voluntarily? Hey, answer me. What the hell is going on here? Can I see the other side of your bracelets? Huh? Why? Please, just do it. Fine, I looked at one another. Neither of us, neither of us knew what was going on, but there was no reason to refuse. We shrugged and did as we'd been told. Then suddenly... Uh. In the blink of an eye, Tenmyoji had pulled some kind of can from his pocket and sprayed both our wrists with it. Hey! What the hell, man? Calm down. It's not going to hurt you. Is this some kind of chemical? Yeah. I found it when I was searching this room. He walked toward the door and flipped the light switch. Um. Good work. It's dark now. Show me your bracelets again. Hmm. <laughs> That stuff you sprayed us with was luminol, wasn't it? Yeah. How'd you figure that out? I guessed when you turned off the light. Isn't that the stuff they use on cop shows to find blood and, uh, other stuff? Yeah. Why did you spray us? Because if one of us killed Alice, we'd probably have some blood on us, right? I don't lurk, you don't go to be till bed till 9 a.m. Wait! So I have nothing to do with this. My time's got nothing to do with it, though. It's a personal choice of yours. <laughs> go to bed earlier, young man. Go to bed earlier, young man! Watching your favorite Resi guy last night, though? Oh, the one who likes to do the blind uh, playthroughs? Just relax, okay? That's all I needed to know. What? Neither one of you is Zero Senior. Are you saying that because there wasn't any reaction from the Luminol? Yep. Um, uh, someone mind explaining this to me? Well, you know as much as I do now. I was just making guesses based on what he was doing. Hey, Ten Miyoji. Sorry, but I've got to go. I need to go look for Quark. No. I'm sorry, but I can't let that happen. You dropped a real bomb back there, and I'm not about to just ignore it. What did you mean when you said that Zero made you an offer? Why are you here? I can't tell you. <laughs> Nobody can tell us anything. Why not? 
I don't really understand how, but you seem to have decided that neither of us is Zero Senior, right? Yeah. Then why? You don't get it. I can't tell you no matter who you are. Because if you tell, you die, right? I mean, he's got a bracelet on his arm that can kill him at any time. So all Zero's got to do is be watching the monitors and be like, Oh, he's telling him! And press a button and he's dead. So, so, so you know. He was done by 3 a.m. after that. I did probably nothing for six hours. Go to sleep, young man! Right now, we might as well assume Quark is a hostage. I suppose that's possible. He ran off on his own, though, didn't he? Unless you think he got snatched up by somebody. Zero Junior seems to be aware of everything that goes on here. If I tell you, he'll know. And then God only knows what Zero Senior will do. Please, I'm asking you. Put yourself in my shoes. I looked him in the eyes for the first time since we'd entered the room and saw nothing but years of loneliness and regret. Before I could speak, he turned around and left the room. Hey, can I ask you a question? It won't do you any good. Whatever you want to know, I don't know anything about it. No, it's not about what just happened. Yeah? Then what is it? Oh, I see. You mean his bracelet, right? Chill, man. He's a red solo. I had a look while he was talking. Oh. Good job. That, uh, wasn't what I wanted to ask either. Well, what is it then? When you sprayed us. You, uh, you screamed, didn't you? <laughs> you did you overact a bit? No. <laughs> hey, I remember you screaming. I know you screamed. You went like, ah! Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. No, I'm pretty sure you did. Not quite so tough when you're scared, huh? Shut up. We've got stuff to do. Get going. Move. Yeah. We got stuff to do next time I play this. Stayed up later and later with you, the state of blogger after you left for whatever reason. I go bad, young man. Hey, all doors are white now. What the fuck? Very interesting. All the doors are white now. You shall figure out why they're all white now next time. Ha 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 ha. Alrighty! Alright, alright, alright. Guys, that blindfold of Resident Evil a few times. Oh, that's cool. Sometimes brings company out with him in the form of a bird. Oh, that's cool too. As the bird talk at all. Or is it just like... Imagine talking and be like... Be like... Hello! No, no, none of this probably wants a cracker nonsense. Be like... Hello! And then insert swear words that somebody taught the bird to say. <laughs> Work on going a bit early tomorrow. Okay! Hold next week and go on try to. Okay! I wish you luck, sir. I wish you good luck. Good luck, soldier! Yeah! One, two, three, four. Nah, not like that. I think one talks quietly. The other likes to dance. Oh, that's super cute! That's super cute. Good night, Sinclair. 
Let's see, where's my button? There's my button! There's my thing! Good night, Sinclair. Good night, Dolby. Good night, bots and lurkers and everybody who stopped by tonight. You all get some rest. Sleep tight, no bed bugs. I'll take care of yourselves. Have a good day, night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And I'll be back later with some amazing car racing. And we'll see how far we get in there. Ha 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 ha.